comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Okay, so you have wiped now. You used the paper and you have wiped. Okay, you're going to go ahead and look for the, it's called, it's called the, it's not the plunger. It's like a flipper. It's like a, uh, it's not a button. It's like a, a long, yeah, the silver one. Yeah. So go ahead and push that. Okay. Are you pushing hard enough? Hey, you did it. Okay, great job. Well, I'll see you at home later tonight. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the Everything Now Corporation Call Center. My name is Tito Prank, and uh, we're going to help people out tonight. Yes, hello. Hello, everybody. Baby Babar, Abby Sally, Creative Steve69, Theo from Eden, Mr. Finger Guns, Scott with Too Many T's, Cats and Baron, Yarkasm, Laser Lady, Major Chaos, Surreal Chemist, Kinetic Turtle, Internet Crow, Kevin Version 8, Gorefriend. That's a new one. Gore, G O R 3 F R 1 3, Gorefriend. It's like, that's my Gorefriend. Um, Mac Plays, Mitch F. Anderson, uh, The Remover, Grass Dragon, E Intoxicated, Neo Kuru, HP Love Shaft, Mokoi F4F, Pika Lee, E is for Evil, The Potato Slaw. Thank you for your subscription, by the way. Really appreciate that. Uh, did I miss anybody? Sound alerts. Just kidding. Oh, Mountain Drew Kickstart. Now we can start the show. Um, Barack Obama. That's a yes. Uh, thank you. And the HTTR. That's an excuse to say your name. I'm Tito Prank, and we're going to help people out tonight. People call in with issues they have for Everything Now Corporation products, services, locations, so on and so forth. And uh, I ask you for help helping them. It's pretty easy. It's like a one to, it's like a transitive property or whatever. Um, ah! uh, uh, hey, uh, hey, Tito. Hey, how's it going, Clarence? Hey, uh, did you see the cupcakes in the break room? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, it's someone's birthday today, isn't it? Uh, I don't, is it? I think so. It might be Sarah's. Are those, um, are those for anybody? Uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't, me personally, I would not take one without, totally, like, totally, getting more information. Totally. And if someone, like, took five or six of them... That'd probably be fine though, right? There was like eight. Right. That's like 70% of the cupcakes. Right. But if someone did do that, we'd all still be their friend, right? Uh, I, I guess I'd be maybe a little like wary of them because I'd have, uh, I'd have social ammunition. I think they'd be, that, I think that'd be a funny prank. You think that's funny? <laughs> whoever did that, I'd be like, who is this scoundrel? <laughs> He seems pretty funny. Ugh, God. Whoever did that? Did you eat five or six cupcakes? <laughs> Me? Did Tito. Come on. come on. It's just Tito. Come on. I would never. But if someone did... You'd think it would be funny? And clever. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, they had dairy in them, so I'm going to go take a huge shit. Please remember to bring the lactate from home. I tell you this all the time. Uh, that was Clarence. Classic Clarence. Um, yes, yeah, a classic prank indeed. Uh, oh, Chesterville, thank you for the two-person raid. Hello, welcome in, everybody. Um, two's company. Two's company, but three's a crowd. Is that from the room or something? Um, yeah, I think it's from the room. Uh, I'm Tito Prank. We're helping people out. This is the call center. And uh, you can interact in many ways. Check out the sound alerts down below. You can put the caller on hold. You can make them answer a security question to make sure they are not doing a fraudulism. And you can make them send an image from the Discord. The image will theoretically help me understand their situation a little bit better. For example, they can send the Bugs Bunny who's going back to the old him. 
Um, maybe someone is in the middle of a situation where they're going back to their own gangster stuff. So, uh, Scholar for Christ, Serenity Underground. Hello, everybody. Please keep filing in. Sarcasmosis. Love, Skull. Skull recidivism, Tito. Uh, thank it's you. Not, it's not a laughing matter. Repeat offender. Racing Arizona. Um, so, you can also, $5. If you don't like the person on the phone, you can kill them. It's, you know, uh, I would say make sure they're like a really bad person. Uh, let's put all of our personal pet peeves aside. Uh, if you really think they deserve it, $5. And thank you so much, Scholar for Christ. Oh my gosh. And what a disaster. 53 months, my goodness. Uh, oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Internet crow. <laughs> Uh, people moonlight, it's fine. Um, for if you subscribe, thank you so much, first of all, you get to sign the card for the person who uh, is in the hospital most recently <laughs> that we work with. Uh, they have been injured and we send a get well soon card for them. So you can put like an inside joke, some gallows humor or something like that to make them feel better while they're sitting in their hospital bed. I believe Craig uh, is in the hospital now. Does anyone remember how Craig was uh, injured and uh, hospitalized? Because I do not. Uh, I've, I've, I've been very busy. Um, I, I'm so tired and so busy these days. Ugh. What? They, oh yeah, this is, of course. Craig, ha Craig had his dick accident. <laughs> which, yes, he, he fell on a shampoo bottle, yeah. which is the dick accident. <laughs> Shot his own balls with the 22 the pistol. The <laughs> yeah. And you know how small that shampoo bottle hole is, so it kind of filled the space. Exactly. It's like <laughs> making ground beef. <laughs> with one of those <laughs> one of those grinders uh okay i'll do that sure uh if we get s 11 more subscriptions which one is it are we doing uh, the cerebro thing yeah okay so if we get 11 more subscriptions you get to go to the training center and watch people who are trying to get my job uh you'll ask them questions for 90 minutes and they'll do their best to answer them as best as possible and then you decide if they get the job or if they don't I think they uh, die in an explosion uh, if they don't get the job. So, you know, um, consider. It's a nice power trip, I promise. As best as possible, you're hired. Yep, everyone in the chat having a good time right now. Danny, she, Danny's here too. Thank you so much for joining us. What is happening? We're going to help people out. That's that's what. And I think we've, we've pretty much given all the information they need for the format. So I think we can probably take the first call in a second, right? Is there anything else I'm missing? Anybody anybody have any questions? Anyone watching the cool movies recently? Oh, hold that thought. Hold those letterbox links. We're going to help this person out, okay? You and me, you and Tito Prank, helping this person out right now on the phone. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. How may I help you this evening? Hello, Tito. Hi there. Okay. Oh, I sent you a visual aid. You have sent me an image right away. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check this out in a moment, but can I please get your name first? Uh, Bussy Berkeley. Bussy. And the S's in Bussy are dollar signs. Thank you. That helps me out a lot. Uh, okay, Bussy Berkeley. It's a stage name, but I mean, when I do the customer service stuff, I try to keep it uh, professional. Of course. Um, well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, what is your issue here? And let's see, you have sent me this image here. P is stored in the soul, actually, as yeah. opposed to the balls. Well, see, Tito, my situation is in need of some soul. It's in need of a number of things, but one of those things is soul. You see, uh, I am a freestyle rapper by trade. Ah. That's my, I, I, I apply my trade in competitions and things of that nature. And, okay. Uh, the problem that I'm encountering right now, Tito, is that I was booked for what I thought was a freestyle rap competition. As it turns out, it's a, it's a fucking hipster coffee shop, Tito. And, uh, and unfortunately, they're looking for an acoustic guitar set. I ordered uh, guitar tabs off your website, but I don't know how to do any of that shit, so you're gonna have to speed run this shit for me, Tito. Can you tell me how to play the guitar over the phone? Oh boy, okay. Uh, I'm gonna put you on speaker, hold on. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Gosh, how, how tell, can, can you help me teach Bussy Berkeley here how to play the guitar? Because I know some basic chords, I just kind of can't describe the fretboard. And you gotta do it quick, Tito, because all these fuckers are working on their shitty right. screenplays are, gonna, are frothing at the mouth. Show me your, your strum game. Show me, show me your strum it, game. 
Strong. Is that a euphemism for something? No, please. I'm trying to help you out right now, sir. Are you sir. asking me to sir, please. touch myself? Are you asking me to touch myself over there? Sir, this is a TV 14 television on, show. I can put it on the uh, FaceTime if that's... Uh, I just want to hear how you strum the guitar, if that is a thing you have to work. Ah, okay. So you strum with the right... Are you right-handed? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, people, I'm, I'm pretty sure people that are booing I, I'm me. pretty sure that I'm actually left-handed because I can dribble a basketball real good with my left hand. Okay. But I think that the teachers kind of like whittled that out of me willfully. The teachers? Like just yeah. all first, teachers you've had? Was, or? Yeah, honestly, that was my first encounter with the woke mind virus, but that's not mm. important. We can do, so you want me to strum? Yes, please. Um, can you hear this? I can. Okay. Okay. What chord is that? That's just an open note, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, and you have sent me another image okay. here, actually. I'm going to download this really quick. Um, and I have some good advice already for you. Um, what What would you do if I just told you, play Wonderwall? Oh, and also I'm going to look at this image real quick. Okay, so this is a shark with huge titas. <laughs> yeah, first first and foremost, that made me laugh. But, uh, but that's also just... Uh, that's it's what I'm trying to get out of this, Tito. At the end of the day, many of these boutique little coffee shops here are uh, overrun with very attractive uh, men, women, sharks, that sort of thing. They're just kind of milling about. And if I nail this, Tito, I feel like I can uh, I can probably close. So you're trying to date, If basically. you know what I'm saying, Tito. I do. Like close-up shop. I'm saying knock boots. Yes. I understand. I'm saying engage in sexual congress. Right. I'm saying... I knew that the first uh, euphemism you used. You know, lick and... Okay. And spit, uh -huh. that's and that's, and get and uh, uh -huh. knock around in there, you know. I thought you were going to rhyme. Get a little, you know, little that, better free, that. Can you, can, you, rapper, can, you hear, right? can you hear that, Tito? Can yeah, that around? doesn't sound good for an acoustic guitar. Okay, um, so Wonderwall. Yeah, uh, what, what, I'm just trying to gauge your Don't level. you think maybe like a chord to start? Yes, of course. Would be, okay, okay, okay. Wonderwall. Um, two... Today, okay. It's gonna be the a lot of ground to cover. It's gonna be the day when you're gonna throw it back to. Well, for the record, you. someone says you're much better than DJ Khaled already. I've seen the clip. He's terrible. Why uh, would you say that about him? You know he can't read. Why would you say that about that guy? Give him a break. That's not funny. It's not funny that DJ Khaled cannot read. I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> Okay. Um, it kind of sounds like you're laughing. I can't really no, tell. You know, no, no. I'll be honest with you. Okay, so strum a G. Do you know what would you do if I told you to do that? I heard that. Because I'm a G. I heard what Tito. you did. I, 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 what I did, Tito, to clarify, I ran my finger over my jacket as if I was strumming myself. Uh huh. Okay. Hold on a second. Hello? Am I on hold? Hold on. Okay, now I have a frame of reference. Dude, there's a twink back there working on a spec script for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Don't call He's them. looking at me don't with hate in his heart. Them He's looking at me with hate in his heart, Tito. His latte is only going to placate him for so long. Um, okay, so you're going to want to play an E minor chord, which is... So you see, the, you see the notches on the neck of the guitar? He's doing a fucking reading over his phone. He's got somebody of on the, the it's phone. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia script? Running lines of a spec script that he wrote for It's Always Why? Sunny in Philadelphia. Why would he run lines for a spec script? I mean, I he's mean, nailing the fact that they're all mean to D, but I feel like... Oh, yeah, that's kind outside, of like, like... You gotta have more than that. That's like tip of the iceberg, They're just making know? fun of D. Yeah, that's... Come on. Really bad. There's so what do you want? What? Level. What am I doing? Do you do you see this? The, guy, this has to be done in five minutes, Tito. Do you see the notches on the fretboard? What the fuck are you talking about? It's like the little uh, vertical lines. Uh, they're all vertical lines, Tito. Look at them all. Well, that's just fundamentally not true. They're all vert. No, they're all what? Okay, th now it's vertical. This what do you took? Tito. Okay, how many strings are there on the guitar? There's one, oh two, my God. three, four, five. Six, right? Oh my god, is there math for this? Six, Tito. Okay. Six. On the second string, you are going to put your finger on the second uh, opening on the neck. Okay. Should sound like that. Right, okay. On the third string. And, you want, and what do I do with that now? On the third string, with your other fingers, you will put your finger down also on the second fret. And it should sound like this. Mm, mm, okay. Is it close? 
Uh, perhaps, yes. Uh, is that Wonderwall? Did I do it? No, there's a lot more than that, unfortunately, for God, the Wonderwall. It's so much easier just to freestyle. Hang on, can't you just like... Can you do an Ashley Simpson? You know, like, um... Like, just, like, have a speaker in your pocket playing the music. Is that the, the Chicken of the Sea one? The Chicken of the Sea one? The Chicken of the Sea one where she did the no, Chicken that's on the... Oh. Uh, no, but you know, like... Fuck. If you have the song playing... Fuck, out I'm of, so out of my depth. Out of... <laughs> if you have the song playing out of a speaker in your pocket, and you just kind of are pretending to strum, moving your fingers oh, around. Oh, lie! Yeah, that's, I guess I so. love doing that. There okay, you go. We Millie Vanilli, that. there you go, for <laughs> our Gen Xers. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, um, Shurikan. So okay, well, but now I think the biggest hurdle for me, personally, Tito, is uh, you guys do brand consulting? I know you guys sold books like How to Start a Great Music Group in 10 Days or something like that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. We are um, like the second foremost uh, informational book series after the Dummies uh, franchise. You know, like the gaming for dummies, cooking for dummies, yeah, I don't know dummies I, for dummies. I, I, yeah. Um, when you said the dummies franchise at first, I thought maybe you were talking about J.K. Rowling. That's top of the Anybody out there, huh? You know, maybe it, 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 Tito, Tito, Tito. Maybe I just say, maybe I just say, fuck it with the music and just do a stand-up routine. I was going to say show. that, or also my friend Pineapple Pineapple says, just switch to bongos, my dude, because at that point you're just doing kind of a slam poetry thing, and Brando you don't have to worry. Brando did bongos. Brando did bongos, and he was like talented, but also. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, I suppose that's kind of part of his charm, maybe. I think James Dean did bongos also. Really? I've been told that I have a kind of a James Dean affect. Have you? Really? Can you tell uh, over the phone that I have a kind of devil may care attitude? Yes, totally. Absolutely. I hear it right through the phone. I hear your sarcasm right now, Tito. I am I not it. being sarcastic. So what if I just did? What if I said? What if I said no music and just did stand up like other rappers, like Ch the the um, Gambino boy. Like the Gambino boy. Like the Gambino man. <laughs> yes. What's Don his name? Donald Glubber. Um, I loved him in Royal Tenenbaums. Oh, boy. Um, really good wrinkle to this character. Um, <laughs> so I was going to also say, um, sometimes really cool um, guitarists, they kind of like... You can like hit the side. It's kind of like a bongos. So if you don't have time to get the actual bongos, you can just kind okay. of like... All right. Do you want to? I can just do that for you over the phone if that helps. Hey, is everything okay over there? Bussy! Bussy Berkeley! I'm gonna do my stand up. Am I, am I still on speaker? Hey, everybody, you looking, everybody looking good tonight. You're doing the set now? Everybody looking good tonight. You know, I hear 21 Savage is playing in town and he's running late to his concert. By the time he gets there, he's gonna be 22 Savage. Do you need me to like rustle up some material for you or anything like that? Yes, please. Okay, just give me some give me joke. some stand up jokes. I only have that one joke, please. That was your one joke? Okay, explain it. And then explain also Explain the joke? Yeah, just to vamp for a second. Then also you sent me another image. Twenty one Savage. He's from Atlanta, he moved to Atlanta when he was seven, arrested on as a juvenile, and then later went on to go to Okay. He did. He was involved in some gang activity. Okay, why did you send me this? Dominant goth girls who called me a good boy. Me for real again. Um. Do bits on that. Talk about how you need you a goth girl, you know? You know, every, every, everybody's saying they need Ma Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You ever hear about this? Oh boy. The pyramid? Well, you know, I guess you could confuse them right with the there big at words. the bottom, where where the uh, bottom of the pyramid, where the base to of the continue pyramid, this call. Please Goth confirm your identity who, by answering the following me. security verification questions. Oh, um, yes, it was very good. Uh, you need to um, give me an identification check to they make sure you're the not people, doing. They're all they all put headphones on. That's what that was going to happen regardless. Even if you were doing something really cool and good that you believed in, they were going to do that. Um, that sucks, man. You're telling me that if you go out and try your best and give it your all, and learn how to play the guitar five minutes before you do your set, yeah. that people are gonna have a problem with that? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Uh, what is the name of your high school mascot? Oh, I can't, we, it was problematic, we can't. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to have to put something in. Well, the, Des describe the problematic thing. To continue the term call, used at the time is no longer the, the term that would be used. Question. In uh, enlightened society, are we talking about someone from like Alaska or from 
the Baja area of California, like did you many think, years ago. Did you ago. think that there was a high school called like the, the I don't know, the, the Burbank Inuits? No. It was something else, Tito. And that, and also, I don't think that's a problematic term anymore. I'm talking about a very specific... They can change that? They can go, like, go I, back well, and forth I don't forth think it was it? ever a problematic term. I actually think it is, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's a just kind of, term. It's yeah. kind of yeah. default. It's like calling someone fat, you know? It's like, we're not, like, insulting them. We're just saying that they, they, like, they're big. Also, you have a second identity check. So cool. I need to make sure <laughs> that you are, in fact, Bussy Berkeley yourself. Um, so we're going to do a different question. Yeah, I'm real. Yeah, you're a real person, I hope. Um, answer the following security question. Uh, where did you go on your first date? Oh. <laughs> oh. Her parents' basement. Her parents' basement. I wasn't invited in. Oh, no. Well, that didn't go through, but that's like troubling information. I mean, we talked through that basically like I was below her room. I kind of spoke up through the floorboards. I see. We had a pretty good conversation I, from what I could tell. Okay. Yeah, through the floorboards actually worked. Um, okay, so where were we? Uh, we were, oh yeah, you're doing stand-up right now. Uh, do your first joke, but in a funny accent. Someone said. Oof, gosh, uh, accent work is not my forte, really. Um, what should, what, like, where should the what? person be from? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Huh? Where should the person be from? The UK. Okay. People sometimes have, like, a real uh, antipathy for British Okay, fine, accents. Borat. <laughs> Mawaf! Good enough. Uh, also, I have to put you on hold. Uh, one of my new co-workers is trying to talk to me. And also, you sent me another image. 21 Savage, you run late for concert. Okay, so you sent me this advertisement for Shaquille O'Neal's half-pound Angus beef patties. Are you just showing me the deal? Are you, like, sponsored? Tito, I'm very lonely. I get it. Would you like to go get a burger with me after uh, after our phone call? I'm not the post. We can talk about. I can teach you guitar at least. There's like a this. there's a like boutique coffee shop, like a kind of a hipster coffee shop here that I'm calling you from, and just next door there's a hipster burger place where they're attempting to charge people eighteen dollars for like a single patty the size of my fist. Oof. Would you like? Maybe we could go there. That sounds really lovely. Actually. I don't think they have the Shack Burger there. But we could maybe just hang out, shoot the shit, talk sure. a little bit about uh, what was it, Wonder? Um... Wonderwall. Yeah. We'll we'll learn Wonderwall together, okay? If you have the desire to do more hipster coffee shop shows. But um, is there anything else I can help you with right now? Because I have to tend to a coworker uh, who's trying to get my attention. Are you okay, Bussy? Um, I'm seeing somebody. It looks like they're writing a sequel to The King's Speech on their iMac. They brought their whole iMac Why into the coffee shop. Why would they do that? Shot. What else needs to be I don't know. said? He said the speech. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. There. Oh, oh, it's Aaron Sorkin. Oh. <laughs> Aaron! Aaron! Actually, wait, put me back up there. Are you still there, Bussy? Aaron! Just like strum as loud as possible. All there. Until he leaves the coffee shop, okay? Aaron, I thought Newsroom had a lot of important stuff to say. Aaron, I thought uh, West Wing had some pretty trenchant commentary about the American political system. And also, I can do freestyle rap. Good luck to you, Bussy. Okay. Oh. I'm, go I'm going to send him the chords for Coldplay's Fix You, because I feel like Aaron Sorkin would also like that, perhaps. I was not looking at my computer. Uh, okay, I think we helped that guy. I, th I think we helped that guy pretty easy. Um, great job, everybody. Um, all things considered, I think Bussy Berkeley will uh, continue to wow audiences as a performer, whether it's freestyle rap or doing the acoustic. Jesus. Uh, hey, hey, uh, uh, hey, 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 Tito. Clarence, what's up, man? Hey, um, uh, hey, if if someone, one of our coworkers, like, had crazy diarrhea and, and clogged all of the toilets in the men's bathroom. All of, there's eight, that would be a crazy prank, right? There's eight stalls in the bathroom. Every yeah. single toilet you clog? The, me? I wish, because that whoever did that was a master prankster. No, I didn't do that. But if somebody did that, and it also they tried to take it out of one of the toilets and flush it down one of the urinals, and then it got clogged in the urinal too, that would 
make the prank even more epic, right? Like, we'd all be laughing and thinking that guy is really funny, right? No, I think I would, honestly, I would rally everyone in the office together and, uh, like, try and shame and punish them. Totally, totally. And if that one of that guy went to the Goodwill down the road and bought a dress so that he could take the poop out of the, uh, <laughs> out of the urinal and walk into the ladies' restroom and try to flush it down one of the women's toilets instead, and then clogged that one instead, and now all of the toilets in the men's bathroom and the urinal and the women's bathroom were all clogged that would be epic funny prank right Tebo? can i put up a poll i suppose just to get the general sense of if this is actually really funny and cool and super epic or if this is actually a bad thing um you need to go to a doctor i think i do i do but not for this for a lot of other things that's fair, but uh, I look. Don't I'm, I won't rat on you. Hey, nothing to rat on, pal. It wasn't even me. And if anybody checks the camera footage, it's already deleted. It's so whoever did that, how did you? Why did you look at the camera footage to try and find? To try to find out whoever did it, because I wanted to give him a, such a big high five for being such a ras rap scallion. Look, if you're saying what you're saying is true. Then, geez, don't you wish you were the guy who clogged every single toilet oh. and went to the Goodwill and got the dress and then went into the women's restroom and clogged those toilets as well? God, yeah. Wouldn't you want to own up to that and like so gain, bad. gain all the social currency that you could from that? Because you think it's cool, right? Sure. Absolutely. Tito, it was me. It was me the whole fucking time. You're going to call. You're going to call a plumber right now. You're going to call eight plumbers right now. And however many toilets are in the ladies' restroom. Okay. I wouldn't know because I've never been in there. Right. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I'm just fucking, I'm pulling her like, man, could you imagine? Anyway, I gotta go. There's a lot of people who are very upset with me. <laughs> For other reasons? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, call two plumbers. We're calling 20 plumbers. They'll figure it out. Um, jeez. Well, if you're just joining us, uh, I'm Tito Prank. This is the call center. We're helping people out, okay? And um, you can check out the sound alerts down below. Uh, you can pay $5 to terminate the caller on screen if you do not like them. If you subscribe, you get to sign the Get Well card. Uh, to the, we're signing a card for, uh, what's his name, Craig? Uh, he had a dick accident um, and he's in the hospital right now. And he will be for a while. Um, physical therapy is a bitch, as far as I'm concerned. So, um, subscribe and sign the card. If you already subscribed and haven't oh, signed the card, do we have a, do you have, yeah, like, things? Oh, amazing! Let's go check out the card for Craig, who's in the hospital for his dick accident. Abby Sally says, yikes, Craig, you really fell off the meg, off mega L, bra. <laughs> Oops, no more dick and balls. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Make sure you use the good rash cream. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. Spelled G R A I G. Greg. <laughs> and I'm sure that Greg, Craig, will get a chuckle out of that on his hospital bed when he receives the card later today. So thank you so much. And also, if we get 11 more subscriptions, we get to go to the training center where you get to evaluate new people trying to get my job as a call center helper. Um, it's really fun, and if they don't get the job, they die. Let's help this person out, huh? You and me? You and Tito Prank? We're going to help this person? Come on? Ah. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. How may I help you? Do you know those pebbles you sold me were no damn good! Oh, gosh. Really? Um, maybe they're expired. I'm so sorry. What's your name again? Elijah Maroon! Elijah Maroon. I'm so... Uh, Elijah. Thank you. You're, you're hearing me, right? I can hear you now, yes. You, it sounded like you were standing a couple feet from the phone. Those pebbles you sold me were bunk, Tito! Oh, what was the purpose for the pebbles in the first place? I forget. To win over the affections of my grandchildren! Got it. Okay, understood. So you're trying to win the affection of your grandchildren. Of my sweet boys! Okay, so you're... Uh, how many are there? Six, six or seven of them. Okay, six or seven grandchildren, all boys, um, win the affection of Very grandkids. Much. Okay, great. I, You know what? We might have to stray away from the pebbles uh, solution. I have nothing else to offer them, Tito. You really want to just do the pebbles? I've run out of ideas. They all love Uncle Peter. Well, oh, 
No. Okay. And Uncle Peter! Uncle Peter! What? Uncle Peter this! Uncle Peter that! What, what about Grandpa Elijah? What makes Uncle oh. Peter so cool in their eyes? He takes them to the fair, Tito! Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I would I would love that very much if I was one of your grandkids. And so they go to the fair, they have the funnel cakes probably, they see the pig races. They do it all, they see the pigs dance around. The da oh, the dancing pigs, of course, of course, yes. They don't let me in over there. They don't let you in at the fair. What did you do? <laughs> Are you banned from the fair? I, well, they, well, it started, they did something to me. I understand. I understand so much. I'm so sorry. My, uh, when back in the 80s, my poor wife died on the Tilt-A-Whirl, and now I go over there and holler at them every chance I get, and they, they don't, they don't enjoy my, my presence. Elijah, I'm so sorry for your loss on the tilt It was a long time ago. I, yeah. I don't even remember what she looks like. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Uh, so I would say, uh, we should get some ideas of how to win over six to seven grandkids. Grandsons in particular. Uh, what age range are we talking about here? Uh, I think the youngest one's about three and the oldest one's 35 or so. Okay, so a three to 35 median. Um, forgetting your wife, cool, cool. iPad. Dude, they have, I Dude, get them iPads. They've all, got... they've all got the iPads? Tito, they've got iPads already! Darn it. I don't know if they're the, the sort of the newest ones, but I see them d doing the candy crushes and mm -hmm. the tick, uh, P Uncle Peter shows him a lot of TikToks, and he sort of understands all those things. Oh no, he understands the zeitgeist that they belong to. I can't learn about these things! Uh, well, well, what are you doing that's uh, taking up all your time that you can't get to know the things that your six to seven grandkids are in, uh, in, interested in? Well, I guess I'm just trying to outfox Uncle Peter most of the time. <laughs> You're mostly scheming to outfox Uncle Peter. I've fought the pebbles. That was... That was maybe the biggest move I've made in the past decade or so. I thought, you know, when I was young, pebbles were very exciting. Me too. You'd pick them up. <laughs> some were gray, some were brown. Yep. yep. Some larger than others. And you, you'd decide whether you wanted to put them in your pocket for a bit or leave them there. Maybe put them in a jar. I've never even thought about that, but that would have been a, a real kick. There you go. You ever thrown a handful of pebbles into like the water of a lake and see the little splooshes and stuff? I do that like every that? morning. There you go. Yes. There you go. And they don't like that shit? I, these children don't know the meaning of fun! Wow. Or they think they do because Uncle Peter's got them all hooked on the Xboxes! Oh gosh. Grandpa, Grandpa, can we watch Bluey? Jesus Christ! I don't know who that is! How many times do hey, I have to tell hey, you? Hey, okay. <laughs> Elijah, let's, let's calm down. Bluey is like, it's like a show about a dog family, and it's like, real, about how- that doesn't make any sense! Yeah, I know, it's a little ridiculous, but uh, everyone loves it, so you kind of have to get into- Dogs don't have families, they don't know what love is! Ugh, dogs don't understand like postpartum depression and stuff like that, because that's what the show's mostly about. I assume years. they get it, but they don't really know what's going on! Right, right, right. Okay, it seems like you've sent me an image here. Uh, yes, please Mr. look Elijah. at this. Okay, so this- <laughs> Do you see? Is, is this is this Lou Gehrig or Babe Ruth uh, or that's the Sultan of Swat, Mr. Babe Ruth? <laughs> wow, I forgot that was his. Tried to name. bond over the children with that one. <laughs> you tried, Who's he? They say. Did you airdrop them this image of Babe Every Ruth? Every time I see them, sometimes I go to the, their house late at night and I stand outside and I just try to airdrop them things. Got it. Okay, that and doesn't that, work. It didn't work. Darn it. Okay, and they're all hopped up on Xbox. Um, I'm going, I'm going and to- when I say airdrop, I mean I tape these photos to oh, a rock no. and throw them through the window! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, um, that, I would say let's not resort to vandalism to try and win your grandkids over. Uh, have you tried sending them into the wilderness? That's a weird idea. Uh, I don't know, maybe show them, that, you know, I toughen have, them up. I haven't thought about that, but the wilderness, there's a lot of pebbles and logs out there, huh? There you go, yes. And I'm sure there's a lot of TikToks that are about, you know, like chopping wood, making tent, uh, making eat, tent eating dirt, wood. you know. This is, maybe this is what the boys need. There you go. I from, can maybe whisk them away from their parents. I'll distract their parents, see? Okay, we're verging on kidnapping. My rotten daughter who doesn't call me. Oh boy. Well, let's see if she calls me when all her children go missing. Yeah, that would probably... You'd, you'd what did you say, Grandpa? Shut up! We're going to the woods! <laughs> I, okay. Is there candy there, you 
said that we could have a baby Ruth earlier. Nope. Exactly right. You venture deep into the woods, deep into the woods, and you'll find it eventually. Okay, seems like you're really We've into, done it. You've really into this woods idea. <laughs> yes, I think I think this is a real crackerjack idea. Okay. Um well, I would just say make sure they're uh, not hurt, you know. Um, try and keep them safe and protected and well, buy a lot though. Everything now corporation camping equipment. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see how they do. You know, the children have to learn how to fend for themselves. That's what my parents did to me. There you go. Absolutely. Uh, now please pull up. I've sent you a little something. Okay. And I want your opinion on this. I'm downloading the image right now. Thank you. Okay. Do you see that? Is, is this your bathroom, sir? It is. What's in all the file boxes? Pebbles? You've got boxes of pebbles in your bathroom? I spent my life savings on all those pebbles for my grandchildren. Okay. You bought these pebbles. I bought the pebbles. Where are they from? Are they from like other... Where are the pebbles from? Well, you tell me. I bought them from the Everything Now Corporation. Oh, you bought the R pebbles. Okay, I see. Maybe you have a product ID you can look up, uh, but I would say... I would say I bought approximately six tons of pebbles. Yeah, we have an assortment of pebbles. We have uh, the handful of pebbles brand where you just kind of thank you for calling. Order we jars of pebbles from valuable. different beaches and Please whatnot. Please hold while uh, one of our operators finds what the hell you're looking Sorry, for. Sorry, one moment. What? What in the? Huh? Sir, Pete, oh! You say you gave me. It's just. It's just pebbles! That's. that's just put them in there. You have used mouthwash. You put it in. You, you gargle it a bit. You spit it out! Jesus, Elijah. Are you feeding them the pebbles? I'm doing whatever I can! I don't know what Uncle Peter does with them! You know? I'm trying everything! Have you considered setting up a security camera inside of his apartment so you can see what he does when he has the custody of the kids? That's a good idea. There you go. And you've sent you've sent me another image here, actually. Yeah, please. Please look at this one long and hard. Okay. Well, I might have to. Okay, the top of the, the bottle hot. of... It looks like Jack, minus the label. It says, yummy. And then it says, you're pretty. We yeah, can see and what does it say next? There. Bob Dylan impression, Bob Dylan That's impression, right. Bob Dylan impression, Bob Dylan impression, Bob Dylan impression. Bob Dylan impression. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, I, I said that one to the kids too. They don't, uh, but I do. You know, sort of. Uh, what? How does he? Uh, ooh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you sound just like Bob. Yeah. Um, okay. Can we stop listening to Blood on the Tracks, Grandpa? I want to listen to Baby Shark. Pay attention to the lyrics. Maybe it'll open up for you. I've never had a breakup or even been in love, Grandpa. I don't get what he's saying. What does Uncle Peter play for you? Baby Shark! I've never heard of that song. It's pretty popular, especially for kids who are around the age of three, like your youngest uh, grandchild. I would maybe consider, if you want, to try and bridge something here, maybe do Baby Shark in the style of Bob Dylan. You know? Like, baby stop. Shark! Can someone do, tell me the lyrics to do, this Baby do, Shark song? Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Baby Shark! Mm -hmm. oh, baby. Mm -hmm. baby Shark! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are those the lyrics of Baby? Uh, I mean, obviously, these are really good Bob Dylan impressions. Huh? So, what's the problem? Um, uh oh. Okay. Elijah, I'm so sorry, but I have to hang up on you soon. Um, can you please tell your grandkids to run to the bathroom and lock the door? Um, okay. Before he goes, can we have him read the. the do the Bob Dylan impression with the lyrics during the chat now. There you go. So right, you should right. be able to see it on your on your phone. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do do. Get in the bathroom. I'm singing a song now. Enjoy it. And then it sort of seems to go back to the top. How long can that possibly go on for? It seems like the noxious gas has not killed Elijah. A man who I can only assume has eaten so many rocks over the course of his life. He was, Maybe. He was in the war. He stuffed his rocks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Stuffed his rocks. I get it. It was very funny. 
Uh, I can only assume that his metal is so uh, steel-like that he must have survived the termination. So, sorry about that, and good luck to Elijah's grandkids. That was very scary. Uh, well, great job, everybody. I feel like we did something. I don't know if we helped them or the kids or anything. Uh, maybe we helped Uncle Peter. Maybe the kids will have to hang out with Uncle Peter now. Who knows? Um, but this is Tito Prank. We're at the Everything Not Call Center. And uh, I do. I have four kids. And you might have heard at the beginning of this episode, I was talking to my uh, youngest son, Albert Wesker Ramos, and uh, he is learning how to use the bathroom. So I was helping him on the toilet. All the pebbles in his system filtered out the gas. Damn it! We'll have to work on the gas uh, recipe that we have over here. Um, oh! Hey, we have another call. We're going to help someone out. Uh, please subscribe and check out the sound alerts and so on and so forth. And also, help me help this person. Right? Come on. Good evening. This is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. Uh, finally! Finally, uh, someone uh, on the goddamn line. I'm sorry it's such a long, uh, you know, this is, uh, you, your call is important to us. Please hold for the next 15 minutes. You know, I'm sorry about all that. Yeah, 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 likely story. Okay. I am. Uh, who am I talking to right now? This is uh, Sawtooth, uh, Sawtooth Clabbers. Sawtooth Clabbers. Sawtooth Clabbers. Uh, Sawtooth. Uh, I tell you, I got, I got, I got, I got an issue here. Okay, and it seems like you've an sent me an image, so I'll have an understanding. Let me see pull if I can. Pull that up. Pull that up. Let me see if I can guess what your situation is based on the image you have just sent me. I think you're gonna find it very interesting. If I find the image somewhere in the mainframe, give me a moment. Pull that up. Oh, you've sent me two. Okay, so this is a Game Boy Advance filled with beans. Yes. Just one of the many, many precious items that I have lost in the divorce. Oh, that no. your lawyer is supposed to represent me. <gasps> oh, you have Ter me? Terrible job. I hired one of your lawyers. <sighs> Sorry this about that. This is a family heirloom. Um, this is a family heirloom? This Game Boy Advance filled with, with beans? Yes. That's one of my precious, from, from a vast collection held by my father. Lost, lost. Hi. I am so sorry. And also, it seems like you've sent me another image. Bring it up, um, bring it up. Uh, gosh, I'm so sorry that you're in this situation. Okay, so these are... <laughs> Those are, oh, that's a selection. Of, that's uh, a small selection uh -huh. of my former spouses. And they're all the cat people <laughs> from the Skyrim Elder Scrolls franchise? Yes, exactly. And they're in this boardroom all together? Why are they in the boardroom? What's going on they're in the boardroom? Discussing all of my, my things that, that your lawyer gave them. Oh, okay. What do I have? Nothing. You these all... tiny glasses. I got to keep these. Oh, those That's are really it. nice. They, 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 make, they make your face. Uh, they, they round it out. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kajit. That's just the name, of course. Far hard um, Okay, so uh, I'm so sorry that you are dissatisfied with your lawyer. Um, can you tell me, so I can make sure that we have the proper feedback, what uh, have they done that's like so bad? Like they've, they've, got, they've gotten all your stuff taken away from you, basically. They, the they gave everything away. Oh. They didn't even bother bargaining. Oh, so they're just like handing shit out? They're like, just take, it, it, take it, 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 take it. It's a fire it. sale. It's a fire sale. Okay, and uh, tell me about the partner that you're divorcing from. Uh, well, I, as you, I, am a, I am a lion, so there's about eight or so partners, various members of the pride right. who express dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. They've decided to, 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 we've decided to do a conscious uncoupling. Um, all of them? You're divorcing all eight of them at the same I'd time? I'd like to fresh start. Let's do a fresh, fresh, let's wipe the slate clean. Honestly, good for you. Thank you. You deserve that. It's taken a lot. It's taken a lot to get me to this point, but now that I'm here, I feel good about it. Good. Except for losing pretty much everything I own. Yeah. You that know. That part is not ideal. It's not, of course. Sometimes you have to if you, uh, you know, uh, starting over sometimes has requires sacrifice. Uh, do you have any uh, kids with this with these eight other lions? I've got about. 40 kids. 40 kids! 40, 40 Holy little, shit. 40 little kids. Could I guess that they're all age range from 3 to 35 years old? That's about it. That's okay. about right. That's Fair about enough. Right. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, and are you trying to gain custody of all 40 children? None of them. None of them? You don't even want them? I don't want, don't want those. Honestly? Good for you. Thank you. You I'm deserve You deserve to have a new start. And I'm getting out, I'm getting out there. I've, well, I'd love to. I have no, no money. 
now because I had to pay for your lawyer. Okay, we're going to make sure that you get something out of this this eight headed divorce. Okay, we are sending you a new lawyer, top okay. of the line. All right, and they'll be coming to help you. What get... are they? They have the credentials. Yes, of course they graduate from now York University Law School. Are they familiar with law and law? Uh oh gosh, I can only. That I so. feel like maybe was the was the mistake. Most lawyers are lying, am I right? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> but really, you know, no, it's because tiger law is very different. I know. And that's something that people don't realize. You, know, you got tiger law, you got lynx law, you got lion law. It's all very different. There's, this, yes. There's different laws regarding the, the different kinds of cats out there in the world. They're there's, not. It's not. It's not cat law writ large. There's there's large cat law. There's middle sized oh, cat law. There's gosh. small cat law. Um, okay. You know, good to know. Good to got, know. You've got your meow suits. You've got your your paw suits. Uh, there are all kinds of different um, you know things that can happen. But your your lawyer did not know anything about it. I am so sorry about that. I am checking the box here on my desktop that says Lion Lawyer. Okay, we should be sending someone your way, uh, and I promise you that we are going to get you um, some something good in return. Okay. All right. Where uh, now? Where can I sleep tonight? Because let me tell you, no, I got. They took the house. They took. They took the cat car, which is. They took the cat car. Yes, it's obviously a prowler, a Plymouth prowler. I keep everything on theme. Of course. Um, so I, I would love to have a place to sleep tonight, and I would like that. For free. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about cardboard boxes? Are they are they cut up to look like a little house in sort of a fun kitschy way? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, maybe we they, we cut the whole, uh, a square in the bottom of it so it's like a door to okay, get into the house. Can we get a little sand? Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Your lawyer should be there soon. Someone needs an attorney. Oh yes. Okay. Do you know? I am uh, Fido Goldberg Dog Law. Oh I God. See you. I um, specialize dog in dog law, yes, um, biting, chasing the mailman, uh, kicked out of your house. Okay, well I only have house. one dog spouse, so you can cover them, but I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need at least, at least some coverage of lion law. Uh, lion familiar? law? Oh my god, I didn't spend three years in dog law school to do lion law. There must have been some misunderstanding here. I can, I can try to oh. do my best, but this is... This is no place for a dog lawyer. Yeah, I mean, okay, Jack, give me some questions like about cats so we can well, test you, if this guy can. Well, I have one question. Will you do it pro bono? <coughs> Sorry, you said pro what now? <laughs> pro bono. <laughs> Free. If we, if we don't get like 30 Please. subscriptions just off of that, you're all bunk. This show's good, baby. If you if you do it if you do that if you do the one dog the dog wife for free, maybe maybe I could teach you a little bit about life. There you go. I would I would happily work pro. If uh, if you would help me with some lion law actually because I do I need more clients uh, in the animal kingdom. Uh, tell tell me about this dog uh, ex of yours. Uh, real bitch. Um, okay, but say, what what are some of the bad things about them? Um, sort of, uh, sort of a mangy, okay. uh, uh, sort of a fleas, no fleas, fleas, you know, on occasion. Um, fixed, fixed does not like to wear little boots, which is a shame because dogs look really cute in them. It's so true. Does not like mm. to wear the boots. Um, shits everywhere. So not not in a, not you know. Okay, That's seems... part of the reason for divorcing that specific spouse. I see, I see. Okay, uh, Fido. Yes. How, how do you react to this? That's more of a cat thing, really. Damn it. Okay, exactly. So you you know how how cats be. Uh, oh, jeez, Tywin, really? <laughs> um, it's probably probably for me. Now it's more of a small cat thing, I will say. There's a common misconception. Mm -hmm. Large cats are not susceptible to that. Got it. So you can't mm -hmm. go to like a lion. Again, you know, please respect. Yeah, it's for the dog. It's just for the dog. Okay. Um, Sawtooth, why don't you go ahead and cover your mouth and duck down for a moment okay. if well, you can. No, I think you got a better idea. Oh. Oh no, we're not going to. What are we going to do? <laughs> okay, we're going to old Yeller really quick. Um, Fido, Hi. I'm really sorry. What's this? Hi. How you doing? Hey. Hello. Oh, oh, well, that feels quite nice. Hey, why don't we come feels over good. here? I got a treat for you. What's well, over? A treat. A treat. Right oh, over here. well. You're going for don't, a W A L K. Enjoy the W-A-L-K, buddy. Hey, why are, what's all this, what are these garbage bags laid out on the floor for? 
Oh, God. Really well, good customer service, I have to say. I've, I've really changed my tune. Well, I'm glad that you're at least impressed by our um, dog cleanup services. Uh, thank you so much for this subscription, Gluten Boy sixty nine. Wow. But I've got, I've got, I've got a whole bunch of spouses. Yes, of course. Well, I need, uh, I guess, you need a lion lawyer. I need to understand things about lion law. Um, so, or, or yeah, it's lion law, right? Not cat law. It's lion law. Lion we're specifically, law. we're specifically in lion law. Um, and what you need to understand about that is that it is vicious. It is cutthroat. Okay. okay. Um, it does involve a lot of um, sparring. Okay, wow. It's so physical. you're there's like you're going it's physical. like a duel almost or something. It is, it's a duel, it's a duel of words, it's a duel of fists. Okay, okay. Alright. Um gosh, so I, I So we're gonna need somebody buff. We're gonna need a buff. We're person. gonna need someone buff, big okay. and buff. Got it. So a buff lawyer who's willing to fight for you not because only with words, but possibly like with with violence. Well, yes, because they have the, you know, the other members of the Pride they hunt, they could, they, they could, that's, I mean, I didn't want to say this before, but that is what happened to the previous lawyer. They did end up a bit, a bit, bit, bit of a, bit of a, bit of a mess. Got it. Uh, so they were, they were, uh, they were poached. They were, they were, they were, they were dinner. They, oh, they oh were dinner. no. They were dinner and breakfast. Do people eat, they eat cats? I did not know that. Um, okay, well, Jeez Louise. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get a uh, strong lawyer for you. Thank you, thank you. Um, and, <laughs> or, you know. No zebras. No zebras? No zebras. Okay, thank you, Peckish Dragon, for the subscription. Okay. Um, is everything that the light touches yours? Oh, is that like a Lion King thing? Do you like the Lion King? Is that like a documentary for your people? We're not crazy about it. Okay. I acknowledge it. it's become a part of the culture. Sure. You can't really do a lot about it. You kind of have to accept it. But you know, I have some misgivings about the reference. It feels a bit simplified. You know. I like, uh, sure. Yes. Feels a bit simplified. Like I probably wouldn't. I probably you know wouldn't be friends with a pig. Um, okay. Just because you know, just because it's just sort of a you know come from different worlds. It's just you uh, know. Yeah. It's just uh, nature racism. That's do, just like a thing you can't avoid. Exactly. Do love to sing though. Yes. Love how do you singing. how do you feel about Scar? Is he good representation as of a lion? Um, uh, I mean, he's sexy, honestly. Well, he's kind of got a sexy vibe, that. you know. I wish he was my lawyer. Honestly, good for you. Thank you. Really good for you. Um, Scar is a racist caricature. Okay. Well, he at least he's hot, though he's, you know. He's sexy. So um, it sort of like bounces out, you know, cancels it out. We are sending you a strong lawyer he's coming. in just a moment. Feelings on Heathcliff. Uh, he's a cool guy. I mean, again, I, I think he's cool. You know, he's at top of the garbage heap. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I like that. Uh, he's, he's got friends, is what this seems like. Yeah, he does have a few friends. The um, garbage ape. Yeah, I also like to lay on garbage occasionally, uh -huh. so I feel like he's a man of the people. I feel like he spends most of his time chewing bubble gum so much that he starts floating from the bubble that he's blown. You know what I'll say about him? He's really the thinking man's Garfield. Yes. Is, is sort of my feeling on that guy. Yes. Yeah. Well, you have to like look a little harder. Like, did I miss something? Yes. No. No, that was it. That was the whole Heathcliff. <laughs> it's pretty funny, honestly. Not that I think about it more. Um, do you know? Okay. Two, I, uh, two animals. I need to get your opinion on okay. Simba and Tony the Tiger. Simba. I mean, reminds me of my kids. Hate him. Not a fan. Wow. Uh, wow. Do you not like most of your kids? You have 40 of them. I mean, you know, the, the problem is, is once they're, once they're like past two, they kind of look like adults. So it's like, yeah. you don't really get to know them that well. So. Sure, before they turn into like Yeah, this. and then it's just like a competition thing, you yeah. know, for sort of dominance, so. Yeah, honestly, good for you. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, oh. Oh, all right. The new lawyer there. Well, well, well. Yeah, hey, hello. Okay. Rip okay. Goldberg here. Thank Strong you. lawyer. Finally. Hello, yeah, Mr. Goldberg. What, what uh, legal needs are you having? Oh, uh, well, I'm divorcing my eight upwards of eight spouses. Eight spouses? Wow, that's some heavy lifting. Yes, <laughs> yes. No problem for me. I can do that in my sleep. Great. Okay, they are all uh, lions, lynxes, tigers, sort of such. Lions, lynxes, and tigers. They're oh all God. Various creatures. Yes. That's that's lion law. I only specialize in dog law. Why do you specialize Chasing in dog cars, <laughs> kicked out of your house, biting? Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, well, how I, much? I, I just, I'm going. I've got. I've got to go with another service at this point. I mean, it's really just. Look, if there's going to be any like physical altercations, do you think that Mr. Goldberg here could handle himself at the very least? 
I mean, what's in the suitcase? Weights. <laughs> just a I don't want to lose Loose weights, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I- Heavy I shit. I don't, this is not just a Fido reskin, Cats but... and Baron. You think so little of us as a show. Um, okay. I don't know. I mean, uh, as far as getting like an actual kitty cat as a lawyer, it's going to take me a, a, a couple minutes. But, uh, it, it, you know, maybe this guy could be an asset to your legal team. And you know what? Defense. Throwing him for free. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Take, I appreciate that. Take this guy. Okay. Hey, uh, do you know Siegfried and Roy, um, Mr. Goldberg? Oh yeah, I represented them when uh, the animals attacked them. Of course, exactly. Oh, so you're kind of on the other side of the, yeah. of the lion law. Yeah, I'm on the other side. I was protecting the humans. Well, would you say because you're protecting the humans that you understand the lion law? Yeah, I mean, when you're a lawyer, you have to understand both sides of the argument. Exactly. There you go. So now you're just kind of playing on the other side. Um, Do you think you could get me all of my belongings at home and all my money back? Oh yeah, it's not a problem. What kind of things are you trying to recover? Uh, everything, especially my Game Boy Advance collection. Oh, Game Boy Advance? What what games do you like? Uh, I'm pretty partial to, uh, you know, some Kingdom Hearts. Uh, sure, sure. Some Kingdom Hearts Chain of That's Memories. It. You remember the Rugrats game? Uh, you know, those, not not so much. I did play the Powerpuff Girls one. That one was pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Rocket Power, you know that one? Yeah, that one was all right. Play as Alto. Yeah. Auto Rocket. Who is? <laughs> who are the other characters in the in the Twist Rocket? Out? I am a '90s kid. Squid. Yeah. You remember doing a squid? Ah uh, yes, absolutely. Rollerblade as squid. <laughs> Collects the coins as squid. What about Raymundo? Remember that? Raymundo guy? wasn't unlockable. <laughs> they didn't let you be him. Damn, this guy clearly went to law school. He knows so much shit. Anyway, I'm going to get started on filing the paperwork. Thank you. Um, and also, you have sent me one more image. Uh, yeah, let's bring this up. Tooth. Bring that guy up. We're going to pull it up in just a moment. Hey, there was a guy named Tito on that show. All right. Oh, jeez. So that's like a manatee. Yeah. So this this is uh, this is actually. I mean, I didn't want to. I didn't want this to come to light. But there may have been a little bit of infidelity. Oh no. With I, this is you know this is, this is it's not my fault. It's not your <laughs> fault. Is, yeah, you know. I mean, look at that thing. Oh, are you saying you like? Who could help it? Exactly! Pull it up again? Pull that up again. Bring it just so I can see it. Oh yeah, that's wow. the stuff. Honestly? Oof. I mean, wow, looking at it yeah. now? Huh. I know. No, I mean, that's what I said. We can get rid of the image. That's what I said. What the hell? Did we send, a, did we get another one? Talk about more PlayStation stuff. Okay, <laughs> so you sent me this image of a Mad Cat's controller. Are you just a gamer, ma'am? Um, yeah, I've been known to, I've been known to, to, to tread the buttons. Tread the buttons. Classic. Oh, to... you sound, obviously you're a gamer using yeah. such vernacular. Yeah. I've been known to, to, to press the, press the bumpers. Sure, to yes. To throw myself between the pixels. You're like a, you're a trigger surfer, you know? Yeah, because I like you're... to surf the triggs. Yeah, you're, you're a joystick hopper of yeah. sorts, yes. I crash bandicoots all day. Of course, oh, classic. Can we... Can we, I'm gonna keep it the next one. That's fine, I'll okay. talk. Yeah. Can you point out that uh, the visual aid that was just submitted was actually a Mad Cat's controller? Can we, can we acknowledge that on screen? Sawtooth, the controller that you have sent me is a Mad Cat's controller. It's pretty funny. Pretty it, is funny. Pretty, it is pretty funny. This is because funny. you are a lion. Listen, I got a big, I got a big collection. Oh. Well, I got a lot of cat themed video game devices in there. Got it. Do, uh, do you, do your kids um, like playing video games? Could you use your, thank you so much. I fight for them for the gifted sub. Um, now let me tell you something about these. These, the, these, these 40 children of yours. They like to read. <sighs> what is wrong with today's generation, you know? They're reading. <laughs> oh. Go to the library. Yeah. Are they even, are they at least reading books about Cats and lions and no. stuff. Like mm -hmm. what's Chomsky? Oh, come on, come on! There's some smart, fucking stupid, <laughs> stupid kids. It's, yep, it's you have to be pretty smart to be pretty fucking stupid yeah, like that. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> Wasting your time on that, you could be playing <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. Yes, of course. One, two, three, Future Perfect, so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, or that's Time Splitters. Look, it seems like you are going to at least retain all of your gaming memorabilia. Uh, it seems like you're the one who knows about it the most. Uh, and perhaps 
Uh, maybe you can, I don't know. Maybe. I could probably fit inside of a, of a, of a Xbox 360. Honestly, I could live in there if I you tried hard You are a tiny lion. Uh, wow, okay. You know, you shrink down. It's mostly, you know, it's mostly skin. It's That's mostly fair. skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting when you think about it like that. Uh, okay, so is there anything else you think I can help you with? Uh, or are you okay with your strong lawyer? I mean, I, I guess put in a good word for me with the manatee. They're real pissed at me. Uh, but, hey, you know, look, love is love. You know what I mean? True. Can't help what the heart wants. Mm. Someone ain't that the truth? Someone said that at once. Yes. Mm. Um, let's see. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Um, okay. You know what, Sawtooth? Uh, best of luck to you. I'm going to send you an actual lion lawyer. Oh, okay? okay. Not right now. They're going to be. They have to, have to get a flight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have to, hard you know. No, hard no. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get them a hotel room. I have to. There's a really nice Days in. Okay, There's nearby. A really nice Days in. Okay, there. thank and you. Let me tell you, they have a great buffet. Great yeah. buffet. Yeah. Good to know. We have, I don't think we have more than one lion accoutrement for costumes, so we're gonna have to. More like, more like days kit in. What? What? Oof. Kit in. Eh. what is that? Oof. What is that? Days kit, like you said, days. Did in. everyone hear that? At home? I'm gonna pretend that I did. That's for days in the kit room. in. That's just for us in the room. Okay. Sawtooth, good luck to you. And peace and love. I'll uh, send peace and love. Peace and love. I'll, peace and love. I'm sending emails to manatees uh, Thank you. to get you laid. Thank you. And, um, you know, you go, girl. Good for you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we can hear them. They heard that. They heard that. Um, so I'm going to book some flights, a hotel room, and other, like a, a car with a driver, you know, maybe. Um, do I have cats, Tito? Uh, there is a neighborhood cat who hangs out on my porch and uh, eats my leftover sinigang uh, after dinner. Uh, but I am allergic, unfortunately. As much as I love kitty cats, I really wish uh, I could hang out with them more. Oh God! I think Clarence is coming by again. I don't know what to do about this guy. He's destroying all the toilets, uh, which is a that's a fundamental problem. Um, I don't know, but I don't want to snitch on the guy. You know, I hear that the snitches they sometimes get the stitches also, and I don't want stitches. Not that any more than I already have. I have one here for when I was. Three years old, I think I went. I jumped out. Oh, hey! Uh, 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 hey, Tito. Hello, Clarence. What's going on now? Hey, um, remember that cr crazy story about the cupcakes and the toilets and all that stuff? Yeah. I just made that all up. That, ugh, I was just doing a goof on you. So if anybody comes by and they're like, have you seen a man with glasses and a male pattern baldness who seems really afraid and they they have badges and weapons drawn? Tell them, ugh, that was just a joke. Wait, the, the people have the badges and guns drawn? Yeah, if you see anybody coming through this office saying we're here to arrest a man who's got a description that kind of looks like me for trespassing in a women's restroom and shoplifting a woman's dress from Goodwill and clogging all the toilets and making threats to people who witness that behavior. That's all just a goof, Tito. That's just, I'm, that was just all messing around. They're pranksters. So. Okay, so all the toilets have been fixed and are like in working condition right now, right? Ah, so Tito, are we still on for uh, Bachi? I don't think so. After work, bocce? Come on, man. I need a. I need a. I can't bocce alone, man. I think you're going to have to find another bocce. Buddy. You're gonna make me solo bocce, bro. You're gonna have to find another bocce buddy, okay? Come on. Tito, are you are you about to botch the bocce? I I've botched the bocce. I've don't dropped the bocce. Don't botch the bocce, man. Don't make me solo bocce, bro. I can't go to bocce. I have to hit the bocce. The Come on, hibachi and bocce every. What's today? Tuesday? Every Tuesday, Hibachi Bachi, bro. I will go to Hibachi with you, but that's as far as I go. I will not All go to the right. Bachi Ball Court after playing the Hibachi. Okay. Eating Hibachi. I'll Incidentally, take it. Botch the, botch the Bachi is my favorite hell of a Barry Belafonte song. Botch the, don't botch the Bachi. I gotta go, Tito. <laughs> gotta take off. Okay. Sayonara. Fix the toilets. 
for those in the Discord who are playing Everything Now Show Bingo, you can cross off the box that says Grant makes a very specific reference. So, um, I... There you go. That was for Grant, I think. <laughs> Sorry! Uh, obscure reference, Harry Belafonte? I Harry don't know. Belafonte He's the, the best-selling album Come on. the 60s. Yeah, but I'm sure... A lot of people know his shit. Yeah, I'm sure he made some weird reference earlier to... A lot of bar mitzvahs. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. The king of the bar mitzvahs. That, <laughs> that Harry Belafonte. Um, okay. I think we're going to keep on calling. But, please, subscribe. <laughs> Do you want to... <laughs> Do you line. want to just hop in? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll show okay, I believe you. Um, so, we are going to... Before we take this next call, please subscribe because you get to sign the Get Well card for Craig, who's in the hospital with uh, dick problems. And um, I'm never going to get through that. I'm just never going to get through that. Um, and also, if we get eight more subscriptions, we get to go to employee training where you help people train to become a helper like me at the call center. That and sure sounds fun! It's really fun. It takes place in this amazing room. Uh, it's like Cerebro from the X-Men's. And um, if you don't like the way that they answer questions and help people, you get to blow them up. It's so worth it. I promise you. You're going to want to get eight more subscriptions for us. And um, I think I've done my due diligence and we're going to help another person out right now, okay? You, me, Tito Prank, helping. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Now Call Center. How Tito, may I help you? Tito, we're about to blow this thing wide open, pal. Uh, okay. Uh, what are we blowing open, and who am I talking to? You're talking to Lieutenant Dan Rydell, and I'm here uh, somewhere in upstate New York. Uh, I've been trying to get into this thing for a while. It seems like some very exclusive club where uh, people uh, uh, come together okay. and um, there's a lot of writh sort of wet writhing, writhing going on. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Are you wearing a mask right now? Uh, well, yes. It's, it's sort of uh, uh, par for the course here. You have to, uh, you know, you, I don't think they, I don't think they, I don't think they know uh, who I am. Well, I mean, because I gave them a fake name. Oh, okay. So you're undercover right now. I see. Yes, okay. and I'm currently in line to, for something. Um, uh, oh, oh boy. Right, so but it's... I, the, I, the whole reason I was able to pull this off, I bought your book. You bought which 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 everything now book did you buy? Tito's Attainable Pleasures. Oh, you bought. My and book. it taught me everything I need to know about what goes on over here. You know. Thank you so much for purchasing that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's really it's it's really all I know about about um, <laughs> what these people are doing. Got okay, so you're at like a like like Fidelio party. Have you been? Hey, ah. can, you, uh, can you hold this for me? I have oh, to take a shit. Absolutely, absolutely. Fidelio. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it. that's just what they say. Yeah, so, right, so right. You've been, you've been. Uh, you know, I've dabbled, uh, I've studied. You know, uh, yeah. I have. Were you a spit boy like me? No, you're a spit. You, you're undercover as a spit boy right now. Uh, they said I'm. Uh, you know, I'm new on the list, so I'm. A, I don't know what it means, but they, I didn't see it in your book. But Honestly, uh, I'm a spit boy. Good for you. That's really nice. So I'm very um, excited over here. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, look. Uh, if uh, this is the kind of party that I'm thinking of, is there like a, a guy blindfolded playing the organ somewhere nearby? Oh, Brad, Brad over there. Yeah, you see him? Okay. Yeah. Watch the names. But first of all, no names. Oh, right, 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 right. You don't want to blow your cover. No, okay? well. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, well, no. Why are you wearing a police officer's outfit if you're undercover? <laughs> well, I'm undercover in the sense that I, you know, I'm, they don't know who I am. Right. I, it I, is kind of funny that, like, just wearing a mask over your eyes. Call, that's please it. Confirm that's all you have to worry about. And answering the following security. They're not asking questions. questions they can barely see. Yep. They got muck in their eyes, and I don't know what it is. Exactly right. So who, you could be anybody. That's and right. Officer Rydell, you're going to have to answer the security question uh, here. Uh, name of your first pet. Strink. Strink. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was not it. <laughs> I, it does sound like you maybe just made up a, no, a noise to say. No, Shrink was his name. He was a little mole rat. Oh, Shrink? Or Shr Shrink? Shrink was Shrink. his name. 
Right. S C H K R I N K, shrink the mole brain. There's the issue. I did not catch the C H. And I would watch him for hours and hours, and I was just hypnotized by his by his nude little body. Well, that was it. It was shrink. It was shrink. Oh, thank you so much, Harry Horror Show, for the 283 person raid. That's great. Yeah, that's pretty that's nice really of you. That's really good. Uh, I'm Tito Prank. I'm at the Everything Now Call Center. I'm helping people out, like Lieutenant Dan Rydell over here, who, who is at um, an O R G Y right now. And uh, wait, what are you trying to do? You're trying to take this whole place down? There's a lot of people high up. Exactly there. right. Okay. Okay. Exactly right. Well, we're gonna blow it wide open, Tito. What, you and me. What evidence do you have? Other, I mean, other than well, I got what they're doing over there, which they've been doing for about thirty-five minutes. Okay. And I don't know who's doing what to who. Ugh. It's so. You, yeah. You, I, you remember that the chapter in your book about cuddle puddles? Yes. Of I course. think that's what we're seeing over here. When when you can't see the faces from the flesh. You I, kind just of, see, I just hey, see. I just see. Fidelio, Fidelio. Man, Fidelio. Hey, wild party, right? Hey, I could see you need a refresher. Thank you. Hey, and this chin, is, chin. And this is. Uh, yeah, you know what it is. Okay. Baby. Adrenochrome. <laughs> drink it up. Very good. Very good. Those poor children. Oh, you want to go? I'm gonna go have sex with Jimmy Buffett. Okay. Fidelio. Fidelio. Shit. Yeah, he was on the flight logs. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Did anyone just see what was behind me? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well. Come on. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, so. Visual aid. You've sent me an image. Maybe this could help blow your case wide you open. Take, I want you to take a look at this. Okay, I don't know if this is going to help me out exactly. It's very cute and funny and sassy, for sure. Is this what you're saying to the, the, the rich higher-ups at this heinous orgy? I, you know what? It, it, it's actually kind of what I'm thinking of saying to the police department. You're going off the- you're going... You're going off book. You're, you're going the rogue. More, the, you know, the more time I'm here, I think maybe these people know something that I don't because it's all smiles. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of grimaces, but a lot of smiles too. Yeah, the smiles are technically gri uh, or grimaces are technically smiles in situations like this. They're very good. Um, you're gonna... yeah, I need you to take... You're doing, you're doing a good for society by taking all these people down. I'm just trying to think, how can we get all these people at this orgy in trouble? Um, what can we like charge them with? Or are you thinking about going even more rogue? I, can, I can't, I, I can't help more you. Rogue. Like, no, I mean, what do you, you got any tips? Well, I mean, we got. I mean, I don't know. I was going to say like you can. B O M B, the O R G Y. You saying I should just? You saying I should bomb all? You saying I should, you should kill? You should blow up a, a mansion full of crazy rich people. I should just kill each other. I don't know. Maybe that would help. Hey, hey. hey. Oh, hey, hi, hi. Hey. Fidelio, 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 man. Hey, hey, listen. I don't want to freak you out or anything, but uh, there's a rumor going around right now that there might be a cop in here. Okay. I. I know. Oh. I know. Look, I just wanted to give you the heads up because they're saying there might be a mole in here, some kind oh, of, you know agent or something so uh and, and i i want to say valentino you've been a friend to thank me. you for calling hey, and we understand your time is you valuable. might want to please hold while one of our operators finds the answer oh, you're okay. looking for. all right i hear that I'm i've gonna heard go things are gonna get me buffett oh well well he's a popular man tonight anybody i'm i'm wide open over here in more ways than one if anybody wants to pay me a visit i know jimmy buffett has a rich discography, but, uh, you know, I'm going to waste. Pass, just passing the time over here. Lieutenant Dan, are you still there? Hello, Tito. Yes, okay. Um, are you trying to attract people to hook up with you right now? It sounds like that. I'm trying my very best. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, I heard the call, that, or that someone was saying that there's a, a mole somewhere there. Do you D have Skrink the Naked Mole Rat with you by chance? Uh, he's uh, long deceased, but I do have his body in my back pocket, yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I'm just saying, maybe that could be the cover like, no, there's not a mole, there's a naked mole rat. That's a good idea. It's Skrink, it's mine. And you showed the corpse of the naked mole rat and everyone's like, ah, oh, <laughs> there's no police officers Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so yeah, you might Fidelio. be in the- Fidelio. 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 Um, Wow, okay, so, um, 
Oh, get them on OSHA violations. How is this? How's the infrastructure of the building that it's you're in right now? quite frankly beautiful and ornate. Completely, it's one of the most stunning too. buildings I've ever seen. Damn it! Damn it! But I mean, I can you know. But uh, if I bomb it, then it's all going down. That's that's true. Hey, Mr. Fidelio, what's up, bro? Mr. Hello, Mr. Buffett. Oh. Fidelio, Fidelio. Gosh, I gotta tell you, I'm bummed out, man. I was getting some parrot head over there. Yeah. And uh, now I'm wasting away. Now I'm wasting away because it's my understanding there's some people out here who are not abiding by the, the creed You've of heard our moment. I've, you've heard what I've heard. Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's a cop. There's, there's a no, no, I don't hey. know that there was a cop. I heard maybe there was a mole maybe from like a rival uh, sex league. A pig by any other name, brother. I, he, cops are, we hate them, don't we? We do. We do. We hate them. Uh, and, we'll, and we'd love to kill them. Anyway, I'm gonna go keep getting sucked up. Oh. Tito, that was Jimmy Buffett. That was Jimmy Buffett himself? That was Jimmy Buffett. Oh man, you know, the bridge for Cheeseburger in Paradise is one of my favorite things ever. It's a shame that he's over there right now. Um, Anybody want some sponge cake? Oh boy. I'm nibbling on it right now. <laughs> it seems like you want to figure out the way to become popular at this orgy. It's sort of, I'm, I'm really at a crossroads here because I, these people have really opened themselves up to me, but at a distance, you know? None of them are letting me, uh, no, no one's kissing me. Sure, uh, sure. No How one, are your holes? Uh, pretty, pretty wide open. Really? Okay, yeah. so you're like, you know, because I have that chapter in my book about holes and what to do with them. Holes, what to do, how to make them bigger, so on and so forth. I wasn't, um, I, I took notes. Are you fully dressed right now? Top up. Okay, good. So, so below. There's nothing down here. Got it. Okay. There's nothing down there. Maybe just, just like wiggle it around a little bit or something, just to, like, hey, Fidelio, look, look who's here, <laughs> Fidelio over here, Fidelio. Oh gosh. I don't. I, I think I gotta get. I think I gotta sort of cover myself in a slime or something. It seems like the most popular people here are very slick. Okay, ew. Slick folk. Sure, yeah, maybe um, find some oil, lube yourself up a little bit, and slide around the party. And inherently, because you're so shiny and slippery, they'll kind of see you re like reflecting all the light in the room. Just like my sweet little skink. Exactly right. Just you like should have seen him. I really wish I could. I so really... shiny. He when, he'd, when he'd run on his little wheel and he'd work up a sweat. Oh. That's and so... I'd try to pick him up, he'd slip right out of my hands. That's really cute. Yeah. Oh, here's an interesting one. Maybe go to like hang out with the smokers uh, who are all like smoking a cigarette after the uh, sex has commenced and whatnot. I think they save that till sunrise. Oh, really? And then they kind of, oh, yeah, it's, you're right. It's, yeah. it's, it's one of those just, parties. It's, it's pure chaos here as long as, as uh, it's nighttime. It's, it, they, they embrace the darkness. They, they just embrace each other. There's digits, there's feet, there's holes, well, it's there's e divots, you know? Right, of course. There's nooks and the crannies. I was going to say that I think you're going to want to get in close with Jimmy Buffett. I feel like he's your ticket to the top, and then you sure. can kind of infiltrate the rest of the group of rich people uh, with him. That's a good plan. Yes. He seemed, he seemed like he was not being very discerning. Sh yeah, okay, fair. Uh, but also, I will say, I think someone is trying to send a noxious gas into the orgy right now. So I would cover your mouth um, and nose, maybe. I mean, it might and enhance the experiences, you know. That's a good point. So I'll, I'll vibe with it and just see where it takes me. That's chapter seven of my book. Vibe with it. And see where it Let's takes you. It takes you. Thank you so much for reading it. Did you hear the audio book or did you read the paperback? It's an audio book. Really? Some choices. You know, um, I always love it in an audiobook when, like, uh, and the author, who's like a guy, yeah. does the female voices, like, oh, you know, uh, yeah. Oh, maybe, Tito. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. we can go do this instead. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I, it's uh, also, thank you for reading the book. I threw a lot of prose in there. I, I, I tried to, I tried some stuff with it. It was really nice. It, thank it, you. You know, you're, you're on your way. Thank you so you much. Got, you got sequels? What is it, a trilogy planned? Uh, okay, yeah, a little bit of an extended universe. Are you on my uh, my, my email list? Uh, no, but you can sign me up. Okay, can I get an email from you really Lieutenant quick? Lieutenant Dan Rydell at police.biz. Last call from my cheeseburger in paradise. Oh boy, what I this, call is my my, this is my big chance with Jimmy. Yeah. I, I gotta go, I gotta go see what I can do with him. I think you just like run up to him. Turn around and jump, yep. and then just hole first. See you what know? happens. Swallow him whole. Yep. Great. Sounds good. Good luck I'm to you. I'm gonna go do that to Jimmy Buffett right now. All right, and enjoy the noxious gas that might oh! get you all sexy. Oh, that's actually that's not bad. It worked. Wow. Oh. Yeah, that guy's coming.
coming. <laughs> I'm really glad someone has read my sexy book. That's about orgies and getting what you need to reach that tiny death, as the French call it. Do you think he will make it out, Tito? Well, whether he does or not, all I know is that he made it. He, he come. So that's cool. Don't you wish that when you die of inhaling noxious gases, you're at least orgasming? I know I am. Um, what is death but the ultimate orgasm? That's what I'm saying. That was chapter 19 of my book. Um, yeah, the Tito Sutra. Yeah, I added 15 more poses to the Kama Sutra. Um, and if we get 300 subscriptions tonight, I will describe every single one of them in detail. Um, if he dies, at least he'll go out on Jimmy Buffett's cock. Yes. Correct. Uh, for those just joining us, hello, I'm Tito Frank. Um, we are at the Everything Not Call Center, and we are helping people out who are calling with problems. Uh, thank you again, Harry Horror Show, for the raid. That was amazing. I hope you're all having a good time. Anyone who just came in from the raid. Uh, please check out the sound alerts down below. Join the Discord to submit images for the visual aid game. And also consider subscribing, please. We need seven more subscriptions before we go to the employment training center. Uh, where you get to possibly blow people up. People up. You know, I mean, you, you can do that at the party that we were just at. But you can also explode people at the employment training center. You'll like it. It's really cool. Seven more subscriptions, please. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no. Uh, I, I think... I think Clarence is running around away from the police, so I think another annoying co-worker is trying to get my attention. Uh, Five dollars, you can terminate uh, callers, and uh, you can also, when you subscribe, thank you so much, just like JNLs did, you can sign the card for Craig, who's in the hospital uh, with his dick problems. Um, you can send gallows humor, inside jokes, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, oh. my card. Hey, Tito. Hi. Hello. How's hey. it going? Hey, nice shirt. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at this. We're matching. Pretty cool. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Um, DJ Juice 04 for the $10. That's so amazing. Thank you. Uh, okay, I have to figure out how to work that out. It's me, Jimmy Buffett, by the way. <laughs> Mr. Buffett. <laughs> Uh, sir, I, uh... Um... You know, do we have to do this song and dance every time I show up? Look, I've been working here for the last couple weeks. I just wanted to come in real quick. I just drove over here. I drove 90 miles per hour in a 35. Wow. Um... I thought you liked it when I acted like that. Like, you know, like that. <gasps> I mean, Jimmy you know, Buffett! Oh it's... my god! Like, you're like a Scooby-Doo guest I kind of like the pomp like, and... Don Knotts! I kind of like the pomp and circumstance. Yeah. I do like feeling like Don Knotts, generally. Sure. Um, but in this instance, I'm just so pooped, I'm so tired, and mm -hmm. I don't really have the time or the energy to sustain that level of excitement. So here's my thing, Tito, I need you to fill out a vacation request form for me. Okay. I'm kind of known for the whole vacation stuff. Right, that's your whole deal. It's kind of my whole deal. But in particular, um, I'm really sexually tired. Does that make sense? Got it. So I can't come into work for the next week because I'm sexually exhausted. Wow. I'm out of fluid. That's valid. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh, an okay. anonymous gifter with seven subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, oh my God, thank you so much, an anonymous gifter. You're gonna really love it. Really appreciate that. Wow. Uh, you are sexually exhausted. Yeah. You cannot come to work anymore. Yeah, have you ever seen um like a like brisket? Like yes. uh, before it's been cooked, like when it's been pressed by the little hammer, by the meat hammer? That's you. That's my cock. It's raw, That's raw, cock red, like and right pink. Now. That's no cheap. It was from a. Paradise. It was from a. It was from a private sex party. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, you ever oh. seen the movie Eyes Wide Shut? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It was like that. Okay, it was it fun? <laughs> was it fun? Yeah. Private sex. Party. Tito. I mean, it's a private sex party. We're all wearing masks. You never tell. We're all okay. Wearing masks. Tom Cruise was there. You know, I wrote the book about. Really? He was? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nobody was fucking him. It was crazy. Yeah. He's was, everybody. Look, he's probably I felt, like the, I'll be, I felt like the bell of the ball. Yeah. Hey, you're Jimmy Buffett, man. How can, how can anyone think you're not the bell of the ball? So everyone was like, Tom Cruise would come by and he'd be like, 
Like, someone have sex with me, and everyone's, like, looking down at him. Being and it was like, like, you know, and he would do the thing where he would, like, pull up his mask and be like, hey, it's me, it's Tom. It's me. Blowing up and the And everybody spot. just was like, ah, who cares? If only Tom Cruise had kind of read... Gauche. It was, frankly, kind of gauche for him to be there, to Right, be yeah, it's a little on the nose. If only Tom Cruise had read uh, Feeling Good and How to Get There by Tito Brank. Uh, now available at all Everything Now books. Tito, I've been meaning to read that. It's been on my nightstand for, for months. And you know what? That's that's somewhere, okay? Ha having the book in the first place is nice. Like it, like if you're a game developer, it's an honor to have been bought and not played. Mostly, and mostly I've just been reading the liner notes from my albums. Understandable. I have a really great anecdote about how I made Margaritaville. Yeah? Believe it or not, Tito, it involves margaritas. Wow. This is a huge bombshell. Try to guess how, Tiba. You were, you were, you were drinking margaritas, and and then you wrote the song about drinking margaritas. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. That's sick, Jimmy. Can you get a high five. Let's give it a try. <laughs> oh my god. Sick. <laughs> Gotta go. Me too, because we're going to the employee training center. Uh, so how this is going to work, uh, people are trying to apply to be a helper like me at the call center. They have two minutes to answer as many questions that you send them as possible, okay? And make them hard, okay? Make them like really test their ability to help people on the fly. For two minutes, they're answering your questions. After that, you vote on if they get the job and become an employee here at the Everything Now call center, like your boy Tito Prank, or if they don't get the job and they uh, explode and they, uh, in, a, in a fire and they die and they, they, they're dead, they're a dead corpse guy, um, no longer living. Uh, unlike your boy Tito Prank here, who is alive and kicking. So enjoy the employee training center. I'm going to go see if the bathrooms are in any decent condition. Um, and maybe I'll eat a cupcake. Uh, one, one more thing before we go, Tito. Oh yeah, do we have any like card uh, submissions or anything? I'm sure there are more, but here's just one before we come back to this thing. Okay. Uh, I'm not signing anything, <laughs> says Jay Nels123. Very funny. Uh, oh, that was it, huh? Yep. Very good stuff. Thanks, Jay Nels. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town. Here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. It begins to stir in the early hours of the morning. Your name and number? It reaches its peak in the rush hours of daytime. That's Pennsylvania Place, please. Thank you. And then settles back for the night. It's the job of the traffic department to handle this changing volume of calls. It has to be ready with enough equipment and enough operators, 24 hours a day, to meet the customer's demands for service. From the earliest days of her training, every operator learns to think of her job in terms of service to the community. This is information. May I help you? Yes, I'd like the new number of Wilson's Meat Market. 1191 Sycamore Street, please. One moment, please. The number is right five six two four. Greetings. Welcome to the Everything Now Corporation Employee Training Center. You there in the candidate seat? What is your name? Uh, I'm the Hamburglar. Hamburglar. Is that first name Ham, last name. Burglar. It's all one name, like Madonna. And burglar. Got it. Rabble, rabble. Folks at home, for two minutes, you will ask Ham Burglar as many questions as possible. Ham Burglar will have the two minutes to answer them to the best of his ability. Ask away. Is this Cerebro? Uh, I think so. I, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. How do I make the pain go away? Uh, hamburger. <laughs> is the mask sewn on it that's just my face it's not a mask it's just what i look like have you ever been convicted of a felony i've never been caught rebel rebel despite mayor mccheese and his best efforts rebel rebel how many uh who is really tyler amber Crombie? i have no idea never heard of him uh did you kill ronald not yet but i will rebel rebel 
Uh, what is your favorite food? Hamburger. <laughs> Duh. Uh, you got any bones? Uh, probably. Uh, I'm calling Ronald on uh, with both phones. Go ahead. See if I'm freaking care. Uh, did you attend Grimace's funeral? I did. I did attend Grimace's funeral. You probably saw me there. I spoke. It's really tragic what happened to him. Uh, why do you say rabble rabble? That's my catchphrase. What is Shelly? Uh, where is Shelly Miscavige? I know, but I'll never tell, rabble rabble. Uh, is Big Mac sauce? Ah, I went too fast. Why do, your, why do your stripes clash? It makes it harder to see me when I'm stealing the burgers, rabble rabble. Are, any cl are clowns actually scary? Uh, no, I think, well... They are, but not for the reasons you think, Rabble Rabble. Uh, are your shoes comfy? Yeah, these are just new balances, which I find, you know, give me the, enough support and mobility to do my job of stealing hamburger. Uh, what is your second favorite fruit, Fry Fry? What is really, uh, what really was the Grimace shake? Uh, I know, but I'll never tell. Uh, are you a bad thief and need a job? I think I'm a good thief and I don't need a job because I'm actually great at my job. How's the wife? She aight. Uh, do you ever wear diagonal stripes? I guess we'll never know. Hamburglar, stop Hamburglar. answering questions. Viewers at home, if you think Hamburglar deserves the job, vote one in the chat. If you think the Hamburglar does not deserve the job, vote two. Commence voting now. Do you like McNugget? It okay. It's probably my third favorite, after a hamburger and a french fry. Do you know the guy who made McGriddle? Yeah, I know that guy. Is he cool? Brian. Is Brian cool? Yeah, he's cool. Awesome. So sick. McGriddle's so good. McGriddle's pretty good. It's kind of like hamburger, but breakfast mode. I take... <laughs> so true. I've never put it together like that. I take egg out and put hash brown in sandwich, and that's the patty. That sounds pretty good. Is good. Hamburger in its breakfast era. So true, Hamburglar. Breakfast is in breakfast. Mm. Uh, what? I had, a, I had a stroke. Okay. You ha you got the job, I think. Nice. It was really close. We were really about to kill you. Ah. Well, see you at work. Rabble, rabble. So cool. Not unlike when we had the Jack in the Box guy come here. He was a jerk. Oh, hello. Sorry, I was reminiscing about the Jack in the Box guy coming to work one day. Who are you? My name is Hoops Van Winkle. Hoops. Ooh. Oh boy, give me a second. Hoops Van Winkle, you have two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. I'll try my best. Okay. Hoops, there it is. Hi, Hoops. Hoops Van Winkle. What's your deal, Hoops? I fell asleep in 1923, be balling. Ha ha ha, how many hoops too many? I did too many hoops. Uh, I did three hoops in one game in 1923. I fell asleep for a hundred years. Do you golf? Uh, was golf, I don't know that golf was around then. How many hula hoops? Well, I've never tried a hula hoop, I'd love to. How's the neck? My neck is very bad. I fell asleep for a hundred years. Old man basketball? That's sort of what's going on here, yes. I fell asleep in 1923. It's been a hundred years. I don't know what's going on. I was on the court. I, I did a, a little slip, a little slipperoo. Are you even real? Of course I'm real. Uh, what's your favorite sport? Hoops? Golf? Not bad. Uh, is hoops really hot? I'm slowing down here. Did you dream for a hundred years? Yes, I did. It's longer than you think. Uh, you go to sleep one night, you have one dream, it feels like five hours. I was asleep for a millennia. Uh, it felt like, yay, we, uh, uh, we, well, I don't know what that says. Did, uh, wh wh are you uh, an alien? No, 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 no. I'm a real human guy. I always have been, and I was a uh, hundred years ago. Have I seen Space Jam? That sounds very good. I've been asleep for a hundred years. Space Jam sounds like it's a film about a basketball player who meets cartoons. Um, I hope I'm right about that. Do you use your physics d degree to be good at basketball? Now, what's that supposed to mean? Now, who's, now, who are you talking about there? Because I don't remember anybody like that in 1923 as far as I go. It was your last eye appointment, 1922. Can you burp the alphabet? Oh, 
I don't think so. Let me try. I'll try to get an A. No, can't do it. Okay. Is Space Jam based on your life? Well, if it's a story about a man who falls asleep for 100 years after he played basketball, then yes, 100%. Can I balance a spoon on my nose? Of course. That's what we did for fun back then. Uh, do I have a degree? Uh, uh, what, is that it? Oops, Van Winkle. Is that it? Stop answering the questions. Oh. Viewers at home, vote if Hoops gets the job. One for yes, two for no. Are you sorry? Are you trying to join the NBA? I would love to. Oh, I would love to join the NBA. I, you, you is might, that sort of a, uh -huh. a thing for old fellas? I was going to say, you might be the oldest person in the NBA. Do you, do you ball? Do you ball hard? I ball extremely hard. Okay. Ball too hard sometimes. And kind of like but an, sometimes you got no choice but to ball hard. You're, you're kind of like Uncle Drew, like where it's like an old guy and you're like, that guy can't play basketball, he's too old. But then you're out there on the court and you're whooping ass. It's exa you, got, you, you, got, you nailed it. You got me, brother. Well, geez, another close call, but Hoops Van Winkle, you've been hired. I'm very excited to work with you. This is thrilling. Where'd... Over there? Back the way you came. Oh! I mean, if you want to be chaotic about it, you could, but this way's better. Thank you, Hoops. Oh, he says Hoops. <laughs> like, it's like a... I guess, like, her hamburger said, rabble, rabble. You can go ahead. I see you. Walk on. There you go. You got it. State your name. Uh, Danielle Claus. Danielle Claus. Any relation? Uh, yeah, that's that's my papa. Big family. Big family, this one. That's my papa. Santa's a cool guy. Um, you have two minutes to answer as many questions as possible. Uh, people in the chat, start asking questions. Please. Neville, baby, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I respect that. I see you. Best dating advice, um, I'm going to say uh, kisses. Who is your pet basketballs? That's oh, not for me. Who's on the naughty list? Um, everybody who is a uh, victim of a serial killer. Teens having sex, naughty or nice. I'm going to say nice. Love that. Um, why the mask? Um, I am a Santa for serial killers. Um, how many have you killed um, with joy? Dozens. Um, why the mask? Need to protect the identity. I am gift giving gifts to serial killers. Um, what to get my daughter for Christmas knives? Um, do I do Christmas in July sometimes? If I'm feeling kind of festive. Uh, can I get a gift even though I'm Muslim? Absolutely, 100%. Have you killed anybody? That's part of my thing. Um, is my dad Jason? No, it's Santa. Um, how do you feel about elves? Hmm, pass. Um, can I burp the alphabet? I can, but it's gonna cost ya. Um, can I hire you if I date a wrong person to scare them off? Sure, I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, thoughts of preteen sex? Um, yeah, not not particularly. Um, who is your first kill? Um, I honestly don't remember. It was so, so long ago. Are you and Jason related? Um, I mean, I've heard that we look the same, but I don't really see it myself. What's Rudolph like? A bitch. Um, are there Santas for other professions or just regular Santa and serial killer Santa? Just regular Santa and serial killer Santa. Honestly, nobody else, no other specific Santas. Um, have you ever used the self-cleaning function of your oven? Absolutely, you gotta keep that thing really crisp. Um, how many must I kill to get a present? Upwards of like four, because that's kind of the serial killer limit. It's kind of an unspoken rule. After four, you're a serial killer. End of session. Thank you, Danielle Claus. Viewers at home, vote one to hire Danielle, and vote two to not hire Danielle. Hey, am I on the naughty list for serial killer Santa Claus? Um, what's your serial killer name? I'll have to check. Oh, gosh. Um, it's not really that good. I thought of it when I was really young. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We all do. The Gunger? Uh, yes, you are. You are. Wow, you've killed like six, 60 people. Yes. God, okay. Yes. All right. You're yeah. getting a bike. Yay! I already got one of those, but I appreciate it. This one's, this one's bigger. It's a bigger cool. bike. More wheels. Maybe. That's something I think bikes needed all along. Danielle, thank you for your ingenuity and also congratulations. You're hired. Woo! We'll see you, I guess, tomorrow. See ya. See ya.
Alright, I guess we're just hiring everybody, huh? Maybe not. I mean, I mean no, no offense, offense to three, three hey, people how's today. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? How, how you doing? Oh. Yeah, my name's Brandon Tompkins. Okay. Uh, I Moonlight is a guy I do this thing called Puppet Herstory, where I go down to the docks and educate the Teamsters about important women. <laughs> okay. I educate the Teamsters about important women throughout history. I mean, well... And I gotta get a new job, because they do not like what I'm doing. They do I not see. like my work. Go, answer, answer the questions. questions. One came, came by really fast. fast. Do you, you fuck, fuck the, the puppet? puppet? Do I have sexual intercourse with the puppet? Depends if hand jobs count. Uh, okay. Uh, we have to blow up this guy no matter how charming he is. Uh, I disagree. Uh, that's a good thing to do, sir. Yeah, do, do you blow up? Or what, what are you talking about? Are you and the puppet married? Uh, we are not betrothed. No, my wife, uh, we're going through kind of a rough patch right now. It doesn't that important to me, I don't think. I just am focusing on the work. Uh, thoughts on the talking fish. Uh, oh, Melrose Mack, uh, he's another ventriloquist I respect a great deal. I don't really care for that guy. Uh, do you know the professor? Uh, the basketball guy, where he does the, the, the hoop stuff? He's good. Uh, you ever had a hand? I wonder why favorite favorite history. Uh, I do this thing where I go down again. I go down to talk to the Teamsters, and it's like, uh, oh, Flora Tristan was a Latin American and French uh, socialist feminist from the 1800s who had wow. some important work to say about utopian socialism at a time when it was important for women to be involved. I get the shit beaten out of me about halfway through that. They just start beating me about the face and neck. I've got contusions all along my uh, my back as well. They uh, they tend to take the wrought iron chains that they use for the do at the docks and they beat me senseless with them on the back. Uh, how do the teams respond to that? I feel like I just kind of clarified that. Uh, do I believe in Santa? What the fuck? The fuck is it? No. I mean, you know, it it is curious that uh, you know he's there at the mall all the time. Explain that, libs. Uh, can we beat this shit out of you two? Uh, if you can find me, coward. Uh, read any cool ebooks lately? There's a guy, Tito. Uh, I think he wrote 12 Rules for Life. Pretty good. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Okay, I forgot your name. Brandon Tompkins. Yeah, Brandon Tompkins, yeah. Are one for hiring this guy and two to murder his ass. Who would like to hear my origin story, which is that I was walking by the docks and heard them, the men there engaging in catcalls, and I thought, somebody's got to fix the, somebody's got to right this ship, proverbially speaking. Make yes. sure these men understand how important women are throughout history. Thank you for your service. Lucille Ball was an important figure through in the history of American entertainment. Well, that's that all a, I got for that, that one. That was a little obvious, yeah. a little, I'm trying to do a little bit more research. Dig a little deeper. But uh, also... Oh, uh, fuck. Sorry. Okay. Well, we saw Brand this coming. Sorry, sorry Brand Branson. Brandon. Sorry, you're dead. Jesus Christ. Like the operators who handle telephone calls in my town. Here in the central office, you can feel the pulse of the community. The flashing lights on the switchboard reflect the activity of the town. Thank you. It begins to stir in the early hours of the morning. Your name and number? It reaches its peak in the rush hours of daytime. That's Pennsylvania Place, please. Thank you. And then settles back for the night. It's the job of the traffic department to handle this changing volume of calls. It has to be ready with enough equipment and enough operators, 24 hours a day, to meet the customer's demands for service. From the earliest days of her training, every operator learns to think of her job in terms of service to the community. This is information. May I help you? Yes, I'd like the new number of Wilson's Meat Market. 1191 Sycamore Street, please. One moment, please. The number is right 56240. Right 56240. Thank you. You're welcome. Operator. In addition to supply. I like my red lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57 and french fried potatoes, big kosher pickle and a cold draft beer, and good God almighty, which way do I steer for the...
cheeseburger in paradise. on earth and I not do particular not cheeseburger in paradise. Oh, hi. Hello, everybody. Tito, I bought your book for my nephew. Okay, are they... How old are they, though? If they're 18 and older, very good. If they're younger than 18, hide it under their bed uh, until they are 18. Um, Tito, how do I buy your book? Well, you can go to everything now, Amazon.com, and it's on the website there. It's about 20 bucks. Um, and I... Will, <laughs> I swear, in the future, I will do... A live reading of select chapters and pieces of prose from the book okay i will do that for you uh everything now amazon.com yes exactly uh, and also where all audiobooks are sold this is the call center uh i'm tito prank we're helping people out they call in with problems it's just what i do baby and uh you help me out you help me help them help people help people uh so we're going to oh shut up shit <laughs> Did anyone just see that really cool guy behind me? I think I saw a beautiful cat. A beautiful, a beautiful cat walk across the top of your cube. Man, I think I'm losing it. Um, oh, I think I know where this is going. Okay, well, let's help a person out, okay? You and me, you and Tito Prank, helping a person right now. Check out the sound alert, subscribe. Thank you so much for the subscriptions that we got to do for the thing. And uh, $5 to terminate the caller. Okay, let's do it. Good evening, this is Tito Prank from the Everything Call Center. How may I help you? Tito. <laughs> Hi, it's uh, Clive St. Giles. Clive St. Giles. Yep, I'm not Sven or YQT, although I do have a similar haircut. Now I'm a completely different guy. I am a curator at New York's most prestigious modern art gallery. Oh. And I've got a bit of a problem. Okay. Tito. Clive, uh, what, what is the issue at your gallery? Uh, Tito, nobody is here, Tito. I've hired uh, oh, no. now uh, Everything Now Corporation's uh, marketing and promotional services, and it appears that they've selected the wrong date. And oh. so nobody has arrived, and I'm in a bit of a bind because we've paid quite a lot of money for the venue. Uh, I've sent you some photos of some of the artwork here, which I'm told is going to be bringing in droves of not only uh, guests but buyers. So uh, I've, I've had my assistant fax you over some of those images. Hopefully they'll be on their way shortly. Yes. Uh, these are some of the most important cultural uh, iconic uh, figures, paintings, multimedia expressions uh, that, I, frankly, I've ever seen, and so it'd be a shame. Yep, here's one of them now. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Feeling. I, experiencing, even. I could stare at this one for hours. Yes. I hope there's a bench in That's front of this one. The wheelchair guy from that show. You know. Remember that? Yeah, I, yeah Degrassi. I'm Degrassi. a huge fan. Degrassi. Yes. They got the wheelchair guy from Degrassi. Aubrey Graham, I believe, is his name. Yes. Says a lot, Tito. Says a lot. Huge. Yes. Huge. So you're telling me that we can, if people hit the. Um, visual aid button down below that will get the glimpse at some of the finest art that now york has to provide it's true tito it's true it's true and if you've got any ideas on how i could perhaps get people down here then we could maybe forego some of the money loss uh that we are currently facing tito. i see i see uh, but i'll be sending you some more uh, images of the artwork here, so if you want to use it for promotional purposes, if you want to throw something together, a lookbook or something of that nature. I like a lookbook. I like looking at lookbook. So please, uh, um, people in the chat, uh, let's think of some ideas of how to get people to come to an art show. You know, uh, free refreshments, of course, is maybe uh, one thing. Art car wash in Warhol bikinis. Ooh. So is that like the bikinis have like the Campbell's soup cans on them or something? Because they're cans. Uh, that's like the boobs. It's interesting. We do have uh, a free Capri Sun. 
Cap Capri Sun. You offer free Capri Sun to the yes, people. Yes, yes, we've got those out here, out and about. If anyone is free to take a Capri Sun, Mountain Cooler. Capri Sun, okay. Mountain Cooler, Berry Blast. And I've just sent over another images. one of our pieces here. I'm now, just going this to... one. Mm. <laughs> now, this one is a commentary on modern romance The Girl You Like. And now, what the artist here has done is in a very clever sort of uh, contrast between the top portion of the piece, which of course is acting as something of a caption, the girl you like. And then they've cleverly taken the sexy dragon from How to Tame Your Dragon mm -hmm. and put that on the bottom, as if to say, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be interesting if the, if the girl you like were to peer at you longingly? Like the hot dragon from the animated film How to Train Your Dragon. And I find this one both frightening and arousing. That's a good combination, I would say. And it's a shame that no one's here to see it because I'm hanging on a gallery wall just out of frame and by God, it's beautiful. But I've sent over a few more pieces. I'm hoping that my assistant has fax them over to you. You should be receiving them soon. I hope so. In the meantime, we have some ideas to drive people to the art show. Uh, stand outside naked and yell was one person's That's idea. That's interesting. It's like I, performance art. It is. Perf that could be an interesting performance art. I've been told that my genitals are uh, something of a detriment to my uh -huh. whole physical form and that it might discourage people from coming to Honestly, the, good for you. Um, to so, the uh, gallery showing. Put the sign outside that says public restroom available inside. Oh. And then people are going to be like, I have to piss. But they're going to see the beautiful mm -hmm. art all around them. They'll That's be so, interesting. Yeah. We do have a piece in here that looks, it is a toilet. Uh, oh. So I hope that people don't come in and shit in my art. Um, but were they too? Perhaps that would be an interesting performance art piece. It's, I would say it's a commentary on society, perhaps. Society, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Very good, Taito. Now, uh, I, I'm hoping that some of these images are going to be coming up on your end sometime soon, because that's really the bulk of this bit, was really leaning on the viewers to kind of carry this bit over the line, Tito. Sure. It is just a little difficult when they have to pay a little money. I know, and at the end of the show... No less, of course. Rough. Yeah. But we in have the meantime... Eight minutes left at the very least. Perhaps we'll just lower the price ever sure. so slightly. <laughs> As it gets closer and closer to the end. But in the meantime, Tito, more ideas on have how you... to get a sort of side game to this bit. Have you considered pumping in the sultry tunes of oh, Harry Belafonte? shut up, Tito. We got another one okay and i have downloaded the image here that you have sent me now this piece tito this one i saw this and i thought this reminds me of my mother uh how you pay you hit the uh visual aid sound alert down below okay this reminds you of your mother this reminds me of my mother uh, yes nothing tito, like some now, bananas and ketchup to start the morning off what right. yes and what this artist did was very clever they took similar to that other artist they dedicated the top portion of the piece to text. Uh, sh so modern. Like a cap very modern, yes. Uh, nothing like some bananas and ketchup to start the morning off right. But unlike the last uh, piece, they've inserted a small emoticon of hands praying to signify a connection to a deity of some sort. There's a religious iconography here. And then, of course, the lower half of the piece symbolizes bananas covered in ketchup, which I feel like is a bold combination, sort of, uh, I think, speaking on race relations, perhaps. Uh, and the reason it reminds me of my mom is because she made this for me all the time. Now, are you Filipino piece, at all? Am I Filipino? Is of course. <laughs> you are? Oh my goodness. Look at me. Tito. You can't oh, take it. Oh my god. Yes. Como esta? Uh, wow. That's... Muy bien. <laughs> it's not that far off. Wow. Because yeah, banana ketchup is actually a thing. Of course. We know this as fellow, <laughs> you as two Filipino guys. Just two Filipino dudes. Two out. Filipinos Man. talking on the phone. But That's so crazy. But okay. Tito, I've sent you another photo of artwork here. And this one, uh, this piece. Mm. Yes. Yes. Now, this one, uh, <laughs> yes. I'd say it speaks for itself, but 
Uh, you know, Tito, it says so much, I'd, I'd, I'd hardly want to let it speak for itself. We'd be here all night. More like let it sing for itself. So. Oh, Tito, you card. Thank you. Uh, the, the California Razens, uh, sing the hit song, and then there's all the songs that are too small for me to read, but Tito, I can assure yeah, I heard you, it they the all seem vine, very good. La Bamba, Lean On Me, Stand this, By Me. of course. Now... Money, money? Some people might say that that those raisins are hideous, disgusting creatures, but I find them quite beautiful, wouldn't yes. you say, oh, Dito? Oh, 100%, yes. Yes, that's a beautiful piece. It's uh, hanging up right over there, and it, wow. it's a shame that nobody's here to see it. Not even like a single person has walked in? One guy did come in here thinking that he could take a shit in the toilet, and okay. we just kind of let him. Did, is the... You, you let him do it? Well, we thought this is sort of like performance art, Tito. I'd say so. Um, is the sign on the door flipped on open or closed? Let me check on that. I'm just saying, you know, you never know what happens. I like wine made from raisins. Comes as a powder. That sounds crazy. I don't think your raisins should be alive, just like Home Depot. That's true. Only covered in chocolate. Oopsie! <laughs> Oh, Tito! There, you know, it happens Tito, to the best of us. Tito, you clever, clever boy. Wow. Tito, the sign said close it on the outside. I could see how that might be confusing to people who don't realize that we're actually open. It's okay, very silly, but you know, hopefully people And what do you recommend in. I do about this, Tito? Uh, the sign is saying closed <laughs> on the out, facing the outward world. Have so you, to speak. Have you considered grabbing the sign by its ends? Okay, I'm with you so far. Flipping it around so it says open. So that it's closed on the inside. Now, Tito, if I were to do this, how would I get out? Because if the inside is closed, right. then to me, from my perspective, the world is now closed. You are so smart. I'm in awe. And I would be afraid that if we were to flip the sign and people were to come in, well then, clothes would be on the inside. How would they escape, Tito? A life damned to beautiful art, truly a... A, 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 a prison. A, a, a monkey's claw. <laughs> yeah, uh, it is a monkey's claw of sorts, yes. Um, wow. You have such a beautiful way of looking at the world. Um, maybe you can advertise that there's an orgy inside. An orgy of beautiful art and ideas. I don't know. That's interesting. Take down the sign altogether. That might be a better idea. Now, Tito, I've sent you one more piece of art. Let's do it. I'm hoping that it arrives soon because this piece of art, well, frankly, Tito, this is the one we built the entire gallery around, all right? This was sort of supposed, this piece of art was supposed to be the centerpiece of of this entire exhibition. I'm ready to learn. I'm ready Tito. To for some perspective. Uh, and so when you see this one, you'll understand w what we're doing here. And perhaps that will help inform uh, a way to promote the gallery. Now, okay. in a moment, it should be appearing on your screen. These confangled computers, man. So hard to download image. Like, do you have trouble downloading picture these days? I have an assistant for all that. Ugh, I wish. <laughs> now, this piece, to me, uh -huh. says so much with so much. First, you have to take a look at the top, because that is something that you cannot miss. It's, it's an image that has been posted by Sperm, Sperm bank, bank donors. donors. Now they've sponsored this post, meaning that they've paid for people to see this. Make up 50, up to fifteen hundred dollars a month in your spare time. Now that's quite a deal. A commentary on the state of our economy. Wow. You know the the, the our culture that men are able to to sell their seed, Tito. It's a perfect comment on toxic and. Healthy masculinity. That's right. The dichotomy say. of man. So, so interesting. And so this is the main centerpiece of your entire art gallery? We were going to put this right up in the middle. Okay. Amazing. Hey, I think I've seen that place before. I think that's where Craig had his dick problems. I think that's where he had to get hospitalized. Interesting. Interesting. 
Wow, well, uh, this piece, and then there's that guy in the middle. I think that's Bill Hader I'm or something. Pretty sure that's Bill Hader that's from Bill SNL Hader sketch. from SNL. I don't think he got paid for this or anything. Nah, just... definitely not. Almost certainly not. Well, Tito, well, <laughs> that was gonna be our big show, show stopping headlining piece. Alas, everyone thinks we're closed. Again, I think you should just take down the sign. Are, are we good? Do we want to cut back to the show? <laughs> I think we're really taking, we're soaking this one in. You really have to in a major way. let it wash over you. <laughs> Would love to. They say you haven't really seen this one unless you've looked at it for unless at least 20 been, minutes. Unless it's been on the screen for, gosh, feels like... Just so long. Hours we've been looking at this image. Endless amount of Unmoving. Is it? And, it and that's like how I wanted it to be. It feels like it's starting to move the longer you stare at mm. it, you know? In a way, in a way, as the world turns around it, Tito, it is moving. And relatively speaking, this image is circling our universe at hundreds of thousands of miles an hour on this floating rock we call home, that's Tito. So, that's so true, Clive. Oh, gosh. It's so good to talk to another Filipino guy. I know, finally. You're the well, first Filipino guy I've seen in three years. Wow. That, that pains me to hear. It's a lonely world out there. Well, Tito, <laughs> I guess... I mean, what what more is there to say? You know? Gosh, I God, I mean, I'm trying to think of something. What if it's broken? What if I can't cut? Yeah. Um, that can't be possible. That can't be possible, right? You think so? I gotta. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think I know what happened. What if I let it stay for too long and it got fucked up? <laughs> what if we broke the computer beyond repair, and then the everything now is over? This is the last episode. And that's the last frame of the show. You know, oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. So the entire card has been replaced by ENS, brought to you by Sperm Bank Donors. Donors for your incredible generosity we'll sponsoring the out. show. We'll bring you out. In a second. Stay off. Stay over there. <laughs> Critics are saying a masterpiece. Amazing. Clap, clap, clap. That was a great one episode. Of the, one of the shows of all time. So so great. Absolutely. Un unbelievable stuff, folks. Thank you for joining us. We are the Everything Now Show. We do the show four nights a week, every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Which means that if you enjoyed yourself at this show, come on back Thursday night. It'll be a brand new episode. It won't be call center. It will still be live interactive comedy. Uh, and if you want to control the show in more ways than uh, just through the stream, join the Everything Now Show Discord. Submit images. All those images submitted during that last bit those were submitted by you, our viewers in the Discord, and all of our shows have image submission games like that. So join the Discord, it's the only way to submit images. You might see yours on the show. It's a fun time in general too, very good community we've built, a lot of fun discussions about philosophy and whatnot going on. The dunk, the cool tunes being shared. And also uh, today people were chatting about a like a speculative uh, episode format of the show. Yeah, and that kind of was Pitching good. ideas. That was really fun. So join, have fun, it's a really good time. Um, and and you know the the show and the social media and the Discord, all that's fun. And we're not going to dispute that. It's all fun. It's a good time. But is it really of any value without the guests, the friends we make along the way, and what incredible guests we had this evening? Let's bring them out. Sarah and Shane, come on up. Sarah and Shane, Sarah and Shane. Welcome, folks. Sarah and Shane. Hi, hi, everybody. Here we are. Oh. <laughs> Oh man. Um, 
absolutely beautiful. Look at it. Beautiful Every time. Okay. Thanks for having us. Sarah, Shane, thank you so much thank for doing this show. Pleasure. You are both wonderful. Pleasure. Is there anything that you would like to tell the people at home about? Anything you'd like to plug? Oh, Any messages for the know. public? Um, y uh, you can follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I'm not very active, but I plan to be eventually. <laughs> That's uh, Sarah E. Rubin on Instagram. It's Watch right there this. in yeah, the chat. Yeah. Watch, Watch that. Watch that. Follow Watch Sarah. That. Eventually, I'll post more. That's the goal. <laughs> and then I'm uh, I'm I'm going ghost hunting on Ghost Files season two, starting at August twenty fifth. And you're on tour. I'm on tour, you know? The man's on I'm tour. I'm all over this nation of ours. He's doing ghost stuff. Find Follow me. this man. You find can't this man. See find me. In the world. He's, he's ghost. Go find he's, him. He's ghost riding the whip around the dang country. I'm doing some sick stuff out there. Damn straight. Proving, proving the impossible. That's right. So go follow both of these uh, very funny, talented people. Their social media is in the chat. Give them the old Everything Now Show bump. They sure could use it. And come on back here Thursday night for a, a brand new episode of the Everything yeah, Now Show. Yeah, guys. And folks, if you haven't heard already, I don't know, you must have been living under a rock. We are doing a 12 hour Everything Now Show marathon this Saturday. 12 full hours of Everything Now with tons of guests and a giveaway, a, That's a, right. a contest. Of our new shirt that we have available to buy. Oh, new shit. shirt. Do you have new the shirt merch here? shop. We do. Let's we see have, it. We let's haven't revealed the shirt, the shirt yeah. yet. Oh, okay. You can oh, see, you can oh, see oh, the oh, back oh, of the okay, shirt. Okay, let's see the shirt. We will show you. show the shirt right now. But they can see it. Yeah, tell us. Oh, that's actually a really sick shirt. That is very good. Yeah, that's awesome. You're going to want one. That's beautiful. You're going to want one, folks. It's got the Shane and Sarah seal of approval, folks. You're going to want to come back here. Saturday during sometime between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. ideally for the full duration of those 12 hours Please. and subscribe to the show during that marathon for a chance to get a raffle ticket well you will for sure get a raffle ticket that will give you a chance to win a free shirt from the everything now show uh, and also one lucky winner is gonna win a grand prize with a secret special additional prize in addition to the shirt that will be revealed during the marathon. If you and watch you, the show regularly, you are going to want this special Absolutely. Prize. This is me. You're gonna want this prize. And by the way, you may be thinking to yourself, oh, it's a full 12 hours, I'll just pop in toward the end. Well, you're gonna wanna be there right when we start at 10.30 because we're debuting a brand 10. new format at 10 o'clock. Like that, right off the top. Not 10.30, 10 o'clock. Pacific oh, you fucking idiot. You're gonna want to be there. 10 a.m. Brand new Everything Now Show format. Brand new Everything Now Show merch. 12 hours of interactive improv comedy. You're gonna want to be here Saturday night, but come back Thursday night instead. Just, you know, or not instead. Yeah. First. Do both. Do both. Do is, both. You gotta is, do both. This is free? It's free. That's this crazy. Is for free? We're it's giving, for it's free. It's for free. It's stupid it's, people. It's, crazy. it's true. We're giving away a signed Chris Chalakian. Yeah. So Only one way to find you out. You get your own Armenian man. Yes. So Pretty please. exciting stuff. All right, folks. We'll see you back here Thursday night. Same time, same place for a brand new episode. 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, uh-oh. You're going to court. Oh. It's court. Shit. We're doing Oops With, All Rise. Oops all Matt rise. Apodaca of Earwolf. Annie Donnelly of Online and other really, really funny stuff. The Mom Stomp Podcast. And also one episode, of, or a couple episodes of Joe Parra Talks, Talks, Talks with you. you. An amazing arc with Joe Firestone's character. And, the, oh, our other guest dropped out. So it's just gonna be those two very funny people. It's just those two. And us, and us. We'll be there too. All right, folks, let's raid somebody. And doesn't it look like Shane and I are matching bodyguards? This was today? not. This yeah, you are wearing like the exact same color. We're brothers. Wow. Brothers today. I'm their weird cousin who is a little too bright. What if we're naughty little twins? <laughs> what about this? We're a little kind of naughty guy. What I wish they'd let me in on their schemes. What if we're up to little hijinks? We're gonna prank our parents. I'm gonna well, tell you about it. That's up to that's for us. Together. It's a secret for us. Blue, unfortunately. Who are we rating? We're gonna rate our good friend the Yellow Spoon Girl. Yellow Spoon Girl we'll here on Saturday. Yellow so, Spoon Girl and Sue Sam S E U M on Twitch are gonna be part of the marathon. So watch them. Tell them we love them. They're great. And uh, see you on Thursday for an all new episode. Bye. Did you shrink yourself so we're the longer closer to the same mic? Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Here I think I'm the tall guy on the show, and then you show up, and I feel tiny. Hey. <laughs>